would be a sleepy personal trainer, sleeping with all the clients, hands around, hands around their hip. Today we're gonna do hip no, thrusters. No, that's creepy. Mr. I'm not- talk, we've done that right every <laughs> single session. You gotta perfect it. <laughs> See, I told you. I would not do that. Cooking cook. is very easy. Is cook. Cook. Just following directions. If you knew how to cook, then you would know what to buy to cook. Take three minutes, write down a grocery list. <laughs> He's like motor <laughs> oil. <laughs> you got rice, you got bread. What would you make it? <laughs> rice sandwich? Eat. What would you change about yourself if you could change anything? My work habits, mm. laziness. Probably smaller <laughs> having this, having this Less m- muscles. Yeah, having this meat swinging between my <laughs> legs is a true. burden. <laughs> You think you look cool because you look like anime? Hey guys, uh, do you guys <laughs> like my gray hair? He said, "Do you think you look cool?" Like he's trying to like make you like. Yeah, I do look cool. Yeah. Look hella cool. Yeah, what do you think? No, he doesn't. <laughs> hey, uh, audience guys, do what you guys do you think get, I look you, cool? Why are you so upset? It's upsetting you because he looks dumb. <laughs> Damn, I care alone. about my friend's you think well-being. Smoking is cool. Smoking? No, I don't smoke. Yeah. yeah well, look, guys, do you guys you like look. my gray hair? Is it a vibe? Caught a vibe. Baby, are we going for the ride? I just want to look into your eyes. Wait, what's that, what's that one song in that, uh, in that, in that, in that little accent? What is it? You know what I'm talking because about. Because tonight, tonight will be the night that I will die for you. Over and over again. Is it again. For you? No, it's die for you first, I think. It's oh, it's fall for you? All right, well, we're back. It's our national anthem. Cause tonight we'll we're back tonight. and we shot a TikTok video that took really, really long. So if it's up there, share it with all your please, friends. Please go like it and stuff. Because it took a lot longer than you guys <laughs> this think. This job is so hard. Yeah, you we, guys don't even know. Look we, at my hair. <laughs> it's great. TikTok's hey, hard. For real though, I saw somebody the other day and they commented. They were like, holy shit, you have like, look how much gray hair. Yeah, you do have a lot of gray hair. Yeah, they like commented right but away. it's like cool looking because it's real. No, I said it's like the salt and pepper look. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. I'll be like a silver fox. Hey, for real, though, comment down below if the gray hairs will vibe or not, because I will really dye it gray. I wonder if they can tell from that far back. I wonder if they can tell from that far back. It'd be cool if you dyed, like, the two bangs. Like the rogue? Yeah. I already said like that to you last week. Of- I already said that to you last week. Remember when I gave you that compliment first? Yeah, you're right. I didn't give him a call. What? He's better. Is that not a compliment, telling somebody to look cool? I count that as a compliment. I guess. Is it? Uh, you look stupid, man. It looks like you have dust on your hair and someone has to... Yeah. Yeah, well, anyways, yeah, welcome back to the show. We have a lot of very adorable topics for you all today. My name is Jeremy Johnson, Jeremiah the Third. Wu Talk. <laughs> My name is Vit Trap. <laughs> Esther. And we're going under the questions. <laughs> and today we're sponsored by Nectar ne- Hard, Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Unique, Unique Asian, Asian flavors, flavors, no weird aftertaste. aftertaste. And guess what? We're coming to Texas. The dates are the cities will go Austin, Dallas, Houston, Austin on the 27th, Dallas on the 28th, and Houston on the 29th. And come out, support the Nectar store drops. And if you come to the store drops, you'll also get a VIP wristband for the night, the after parties. And just make sure to get on the list. The addresses will go up 40 out. The addresses will go out 48 hours before the drops. All you got to do is send boots to the number on the screen. That's boots to the number on the screen. That's uh, for your audio listeners. Just look at the info on the podcast. Look in the description. And then the other thing I wanted to say is we have just launched our brand new nectar flavor, Passion Fruit Orange Guava. For those that like something sweeter and they like the more sugary style hard seltzers, this will scratch that itch. You can get them at any BevMo in Washington, California, Hawaii, New Jersey, and New York. So go check it out. The link will be in the bio. You can also get it on GoPuff. There'll be a promo code that pops up on the screen. Go try the new flavor and let me know what you think. All right, what about my new hair now? You look like, it kind of looks like like a mushroom cut. Edward Scissorhands. No, it looks uh, fire. Yeah. Yeah, I, look like, I feel like I look I like, like, a, like, a, like a 70s rock star. Mm, right? yeah. No, you look like, you look a, like a skater cartoon. Yeah. yeah. Or you look like a mop. You look like an agent thirst trapper. Yeah, I like that one. Mop, no. Is that like Keshi? That oh yeah. How was the How was the Keshi concert? Um. So let me tell you what Vit did to us real quick. Oh. Oh, I know this. Yeah. He. He's a. F- no, I, I don't know this. So, Explain. So basically, we were we were, we were supposed to go together. Obviously, I'm waiting on Vit. And for some reason, he starts to shower at like 10 minutes before we have to be there. And then and. <laughs> So I'm like, all right, let me know when you're here. And <laughs> like Keshi goes on at like 9.20. It's like 9.30 and I'm still waiting on him. And then he's like, by the way, he's like, where do I go over to pick up the tickets? I'm like, 
you went by yourself? And he's like, you're not here? And I'm like, bro, we told you we're waiting for you. He's like, I just thought you guys would go by now. And I was just like, oh so then me, and, me and Ed were just sitting at home waiting for him. So you missed the concert? No, we went. We just saw like half of it. Oh. Yeah. What's up? Explain yourself. I'll explain. <laughs> Jesus. Look, he texted me and he was like, Keshi goes on at 920. So in my head, for some reason, I was like, Okay, they're just gonna leave and they're gonna go and I'll meet them there. Since I, I, have I, I would have car. never done that, but you know. Well, if you were planning to meet, why wouldn't you say, "Hey, go without me"? Yeah, I was in the shot. I was rushing. Could have said that. Yeah. Instead, he just left us hanging. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So Dirt I got bag. there. I got there and I called him. I was like, "Hey, where do I go to pick these tickets up?" And, and I was like, like, "Oh, by yourself." <laughs> okay. Did you even say sorry? Yeah. That's the first thing and, I did. And then we got there, and he wasn't even hanging out with us. Oh, really? Yeah, he was hanging out Not with at first. other people. Yeah, there was a wow. girl. Wow. I, I knew he her. left us. He said there was a girl. What? What? You gra- what? <sighs> what does that mean? Exactly what it means. Oh, oh, oh. He, he wanted to touch <laughs> boobies. Yeah. Oh. He left us for boobies. <laughs> and then I came back when they got there. Only because he probably wasn't able to. Yeah. Because she was like, stop touching my boobies. So he <laughs> no. left. Said scram. She never said that. <laughs> No, anyways, yeah, the Keshi concert, Eddie called it on the way there. He was like, yeah, we're going to have to set aside like 20 minutes for a meet and greet after because this is like y'all's demographic. Eddie called it? Yeah, and then we got there and it was dead ass. Like there was like a line of people like waiting to Oh, so pictures. you didn't get to meet him? Bar chemistry fans? Uh, no, no, more UTI fans. If anything, they recognize him more low key. Mm. Yeah. They trap. But from his, trap. From his, insta- from his uh, TikTok. Yeah. Ah. Well, known, well known and well hated. Yeah, anyone try to fight you? Yeah, hello yeah it's a cashy concert. No, <laughs> <laughs> soft. Yeah. yeah, there was not one ounce of hardness. In hey, it. Is the show good? Is it like exciting? I'm not. No hate. Like the show is it just it feels exciting. Like- maybe not, but his he is very very talented. He sounds yeah. very yeah. good. Was it seated? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's Everyone good. Was standing though. Uh, there, there, was was front, there was a front. There was a front air like front pit too. Yeah. Like a mosh pit? No, like ah. no, just a standing nah, area that you could pay to get into. Is it the Greek? Yeah, the Greek theater. I mean, that's a big deal. It's yeah, a yeah. big theater. Yeah, but I was just about to say, Keshi is a sitting type of concert, like yeah. with a vibe with a glass of wine or something. Or yeah. with a girlfriend. With a a girlfriend lot of people. That I can make I saw out a lot with. of uh, relationship people there. Nice. Yeah. No, not nice. Oh. Yeah, it was terrible. Oh. But yeah, it was great meeting all of you guys. Thank you for saying hi. Um, sorry I was not in the best mood because my, my friend <laughs> was just treating me like it- is he considered a friend? Is that really a friend? I guess not. I, I thought we were. <laughs> oh, man. Come here. Thanks. At least I still hey. have you. Yeah. There <sighs> no, you don't. Yeah, even this guy doesn't really like me that much. No, you know, maybe it's you. Maybe there's a way that you can work on yourself. Yeah, what's the common denominator here? Yeah, look, look, if you have no friends, how do you how should you focus on yourself? <laughs> that was a great transition. Ooh, like, I know, I know who you look like. Stop ruining the transitions. Every I know time who you look like. One, like <laughs> Oh, I see that's my saying. thing. Oh, that's what you're saying. Like, just you keep going. You want me to get rid of my thing just just for your transitions? Then who would I be? <laughs> I didn't bring it up. Who am I? What are you saying that I look like? Sia. Who? Oh, Sia. Ooh, Sia. She wears the wig. I'm gonna swing oh. on the chandelier, chandelier from the chandelier. chandelier. Uh, some guys driving like, oh, f- <laughs> I hate this f-ing podcast. They do stupid shit like that. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Sia has weird ass hair. I don't look like Sia. It's a wig. Uh, oh. Have you seen that one Filipino uh, kid that went super viral singing that because he can hit the notes super high? He's like, I'm gonna sing. <laughs> you didn't see that one? No. no. Uh, I'll, I'll find it. I was it. dying because I went to Karu episode. People are like, he's so Filipino. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just hear it. But, <laughs> but uh, today's episode is all about self growth and how to grow on yourself. So that maybe other people will like you <laughs> and that your friends won't leave you at home and go to the concert by themselves. <laughs> this man changed his hair up. It's just you got a whole new personality. <laughs> Come back. I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> now you look like you got electrocuted. <laughs> old, old Benjamin Franklin discovering electricity. Look ahead. That was Nikola Thomas. Tesla. That was Thomas. Ed- what? I thought Benjamin Franklin was the first one to discover electricity. I'm pretty sure it was Thomas Edison. Yeah. Yeah, it's Thomas Edison. Who flew the kite? Thomas Edison. Benjamin? What did Benjamin ben- Franklin Benjamin do? Franklin discovered electricity. He discovered America. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for real though. Benjamin Franklin discovered... Hey, come on. Jamie? Can hey, we wait, get this? Why don't y'all look it up, man? Yeah. You're all wrong. Jamie. 
Uh, Benjamin Franklin. Who discovered electricity? I'm like Nikola no. Tesla. I'm 99 percent sure it was Benjamin Franklin. We're talking about the the, ki- the, the kite one, story. The yeah, that was Benjamin Franklin. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Before you say it out loud, Benjamin Franklin flew the kite. Nikola Tesla f- actually found Thomas electricity, Edison. and then was it was stolen from him. They don't by Edison. teach us American history in Korea, so Thomas Edison. <sighs> I mean, it is Benjamin Franklin, but I think there was a guy before him. Yeah, that because usually Tesla. people get it. Do something, and then somebody bigger gets credit, like Ben, like Nikola Tesla. Let me see. I don't know why we're just ignoring me. <laughs> I mean, I it's was right. Alexander so. Hamilton. Who's that? <laughs> the phone. The <laughs> phone man. That was he, the guy that made the phone. He created the phone. He- Anyways, how to focus on yourself, Esther? What does even focusing on yourself even mean? Even. Um, just locking yourself in a room, shutting everyone out, and. That's what I do. Look in the mirror. All right, somebody more healthy. How about you, Jeremy? Um, I think there's a step before just like focusing on yourself where you have to understand like what your personal boundary is, like understanding how to say no. For example, right, if you live a certain way with your friends and they're like, let's just say like clubbing, right? You guys have like a group of friends that are maybe in your party days where it's like, oh, Wutak is the fun guy. Every time I hit him up, he comes out. And at a certain point, if you're like, okay, I want to now focus on myself. I have to learn how to say no. And then when you start saying no and you start drawing boundaries, there's going to be a lot of, because you were one way to people and that's what they're used to you. So if you start saying no, that's going to start to create some problems. So I think you have to be like prepared or understand like what your, what your boundaries are. I just want to point out that wasn't even an answer to the question. <laughs> No, no, that was. It was one step right before you fo- before you could start focusing on yourself. What, I'm saying. Step, but is, what was the question? How do you focus on yourself? You don't yourself? even know the question he's telling I thought me. How you to said, what is, what is the definition of. Put the thing. gloves on. I'm gloves. beating your ass right now on camera. <laughs> Boxing gloves. <laughs> I thought you meant like a Michael Jackson glove. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what is he? Where is he going with this? Boxing gloves. <laughs> hey, uh, how do you focus on yourself, man? Um, How do you do that? <laughs> <clears throat> Huh. Yeah, what? Like Esther's like, like my my thing is I literally shut myself in my room and I don't talk to people. How does that equate to focusing? On I identify yourself? what I don't like about myself and you just sit there and brood on it <laughs> and brood and I cry as much as I need to. I, I think a lot of it is cutting things out. Yes, yeah. like, it's like making I, time for yourself is is the most. I important self isolate though, yeah. A- A- Esther. Yeah, I mean, I was kidding about the first answer, but be like focusing on your on yourself means. It's okay to be selfish sometimes, mm. you know. Um, no, you can go now. No. Yeah, you already ruined her flow, man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was go, he was, go, he before, was, go before you he forget. He was focusing go, no. on himself. <laughs> <laughs> he was being selfish. No, finish your thought. I was just like, I have a good follow up. I forgot. Yeah, you derailed her. Oh. Anyways, no, I hate the idea that it's like when you're focusing on yourself, it's called se- being selfish. I oh, hate that. Like that. I hate idea. that. Like yeah. my parents made me feel selfish For when focusing I focusing on yourself. Yeah, like when I didn't want to do things that they thought was what I should be doing. They're like, "You're selfish," and I'm like, um, "No, I don't think that's selfish." I hate that when people. I, say I, I, I don't selfish. think it's selfish either. Um, I think the big thing here was sacrifice. I I feel like when you in life, everyone has a set amount of focus, and it's always allocated somewhere. Like you are never just having focus left on the table. So you have all your whatever. 16 hours in the day that you are awake doing stuff and if you want to focus on yourself you got to realize that you got to start sacrificing in certain areas mm. like for me it was like not partying anymore <laughs> hey, no 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 really dive into it why no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh you're just kidding you have, to, you have to embarrass me in front of my friends they're not your friends remember yeah, what friends focus on yourself man focus right. on yourself king put your hair back down <laughs> no wonder i've been able to focus so hard on myself i sacrifice everything already <laughs> Uh, I have a quote. I don't want to hear your quote. (laughs) Anyways, yeah, no, you got to sacrifice. You got to sacrifice. You can't just be out here doing the same shit you always do and expect to now be focusing on yourself. That's not how it works. You got to sacrifice things. Like in his case, what? What have you sacrificed to focus on yourself? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Why are you trying to steal my thing? That's my thing. I gotta steal it. I haven't. I have. I've. But was it really a problem for you like it was for him? No, no. Uh, it was beginning to. It was starting to. I will say it, it was starting to. For, this, for the same core values that he stopped, I have been thinking about stopping. You I mean, found God? Yeah. <laughs> he said, I've been thinking about yeah. it. Like, 
he's trying to claim that he's celibate. He's like, no, I'm just I have been about celibate it. for uh, two weeks. Hey, you're celibate after three months. We'll say that. You could start claiming that after not two weeks. Yeah. That's like saying like, oh, I quit yeah, that's smoking. Just like you didn't go out last weekend. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. And then you got. I didn't. Yeah, that's what. It, that's I've been going out less too. So none of good, you are good. celibate. Good. Hey, you're making an effort for hey, you know, it. You know, you know why though? You know what's the real reason he's going out less? Oh, my friend moved away. Yeah. <laughs> So it's harder to get into the club now. Yeah, the guy that the guy that would always bring him Actually, to the club. Actually, it's, it's not harder to get into the club, but I don't have as much fun. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, exactly. And hide. Yeah, yeah. Where that's why to? he does. That's why he goes out less. He's trying to be like, yeah, I'm celibate now. Yeah. <laughs> he's he just he moved to Miami. Oh, so yeah. I'm gonna move to Miami. <laughs> Where would you live if it wasn't uh, LA? Miami. Miami. Yeah. New Where'd York. You? New York. Plus, Miami girls are very pretty. Very hot. Very hot. No, pretty. Hot. <laughs> Same thing. By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian-inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have the disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text that tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. You guys want to hear my quote? Wait, yeah. I'll, 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 drop your quote. Say the city, dude. What the? Oh, uh, I'd probably, I don't, I, I'm, I'm fucking ungrateful. I'd probably move to Texas. Okay, Texas is a state, but I don't whatever. like I don't like New York. I don't like the Bay Area. I don't like Los Angeles. Say so. your quote. This guy doesn't know what a city is. Yeah. Somewhere in Texas. What about you? She said New York. Oh, you said New York. We're waiting for your quote. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my quote is, um, um, crap. Everybody did what they wanted to, regardless of my feelings. My turn now. It's not a good one. That's like an evil quote. Yeah, it's it's like. She was saying, be a little, yeah, be yeah, a little yeah. bit more. Uh, actually, I get it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. But it's also, still like, feels evil. Yeah, you know, it's not evil. It's like, it's a, it's, it's like a mentality you have to adopt. Because mm, I used, to I used to let people walk all over me. Same. same. When? How old were you? Like, when did you as, stop that? As rather? a teenager. Yeah. yeah. It was uh, like, it, even if I didn't <clears> want to do something, as long as it made them happy, I would suck it up and mm. be like, mm, fine. And I realized. It was actually a negative. I was trying to people Super please. Super draining too. Yeah, I was trying to people please instead of just saying no. I don't want to do that. So mm -hmm. I got it, I got myself into a lot of dumb situations and dumb settings that I did not want to be in just because I didn't have the balls to say no. In those situations, though, like how did you cut off toxic people? Ghosted them. Like straight? Yeah, you had to. Oh, like just stop responding to them. Pretty much, I would like slowly like ghost them. Not even ghosts. It's just like, like we just drifted apart. Yeah, that then, hap that happens a lot as you get yeah. older. You if if it life. got to the point where I needed to have a conversation, I would just be straight up. It's like I think we have different ideals for where we want our lives to be now. So I'm like, go do my thing. You go do your thing. And I feel like it never. I it just like kind of like happens. I've never had a friend be like, "Hey, man." You're drifting away from me. Like it's like you mutually understand. Yeah. Like we when we hang out, we don't have the same interest. We don't. Mm. We're not like I noticed that with my high school friends, like that I used to hang out with like every day in high school, and then like I went away to college, would come back, and they're like still talking about the same shit, same things all the time. And I'm like, and I, at that point, you know, I mean, you know, what I mean, like my interests, like our interests start to divert, where I was like not really enjoying hanging out with them anymore. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't fun. And if it's like you're my friend, like we should we should enjoy each other's company. And I, and then I think we just both mutually understood like we'd make like small efforts to see each other like within like years time of yep. each other, but then it's just like you realize like like we we just went years without seeing each other and we don't really mm -hmm. care. You know? Did they start to resent you because they're like, oh, he's too good for me now? Because no, no, we drifted apart long mm. before I blew up and stuff. Mm. But um, it was like so I went to college, right? Start partying a lot, 
got obsessed with girls, obviously, and then like they were just like playing video games twenty four seven. Like you know, See, there was your mistake. What should, should you fell stopped. into girls? Yeah, women. Are, women ruin have, everything. Yeah, you should have stayed playing video games. <laughs> no, definitely should not have. Girls was a way better hobby than video games. <laughs> have you guys ever had a friend breakup? So many. Yeah, really? right now. And it was never my fault. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like straight up, like you, you guys, you gotta have a verbally. Talk. Yeah, you have it. Oh, really? I've never had that. And I remember when the idea was first introduced to me, I thought it was so weird. Yeah, it's very weird. What yeah. You said you've had many. I feel like girls have more of these talks than guys. I feel do. like it's more of a girl yeah. thing. Yeah, definitely a girl Okay, thing. so like, do you mean like talks, like a, a, a bad breakup or just like a, uh, like, you know? Like, hey, let's stop being friends. Like, how do you have that conversation? So the toxic friends that I've had, we just kind of... Like I just stopped talking to them and I just stopped responding to their text messages. Um, and they kind of understood. They were like, oh, okay, like she doesn't want to talk to us. Uh, talk to uh, talk to me. But with the other friends, we're still friends now, but they they told me they were like, hey, you know, like we don't we don't talk anymore, we don't hang out anymore. Um and, like what's up? Yeah, what's up? And then they they also said, like, hey, like, you know, like I feel like you're not putting it th that much effort into the friendship anymore. And they were sad and they expressed that. Uh -huh. This is these are gr girls we're talking about. Can yeah, we talk? Yeah. His face was like the girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll say something after. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. And then and then I was like, oh, okay. Well, you know what? This this friend is a very dear friend to to you know to me. But then I was honestly so busy that I wasn't able to give her my attention. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? Since she's a good friend, I'm gonna have to do better in order to make her feel. Bro, that's so high maintenance as a, fr like, that's why I feel like with friend, like I, and that's another thing I think that it's like, what, like, do you align with me that way? Like, am I able to, if I'm a busy person and you're like, hey, you're not paying attention to me enough as my friend, yeah, I'm gonna be like. Well, she's, <laughs> a, she's, a, she's a needy friend, but yeah. then again, like, she, like I love her, like uh -huh. I love her. And I'm just like, it's worth me putting like a little more effort like here and there than to lose her. Nah. So for me, I, I was like, I'm totally okay with that. That would not I got, be my I got friend. the flip side. So like I have a friend and it doesn't bother me. It's just like one of my friends is just like very bad at responding to tech. He, he's like a cat. He'll only come to me when he's comfortable or willing. And then if I hit him up for anything, ghost, like not even a response. It'll be simple. It's not like to hang out or anything. It's just uh -huh. like, I'm just trying to like ask you a question. He'll uh -huh. ghost. And that shit started to annoy me over time where I did call him out on that. I'm like, no, that's dude, a like, 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 dramatic example, though. But I'm saying that there's a level in which, like, certain people, like, maybe you feel like you could go ghost on certain people. Mm -hmm. But it's like, there's still a level of, like, if that's your friend, you can, like, check in. You can. Yeah, I mean, I don't agree with that. Like, yeah, if my yeah. friend hits me up, I'm going to respond. But um, more like feeling entitled to. It's also like, okay, so in, in a friendship, right? I feel that sometimes, like, I'm like, I like turn down like a friend I do care about too many times in a row where they're like oh. making an effort to see me and I'm like, oh, I'm busy this day. What about that day? I'm busy that day. Then it's like, then I'll feel bad if I'm not purposely dodging them, right? If I'm really just like, fuck, I have too many things I have to prioritize. I'll feel bad. And if they were to approach me like, hey man, like, you know, I like haven't seen you in a while, blah, blah, blah. And you never know what they're going through too. Like maybe they really do just need to see you and they value your opinion on things and blah, blah, blah. So I would feel bad, but like if it was like somebody who felt entitled to my time, like uh, like as if like I need to like a lot a certain you know, you know what I mean like it would I don't know I feel like that would annoy me. I've never had a friend do that to me where they're like unless like they're my friend, like yeah, my like, friend. Oh. I don't know, maybe your friend was going through something and she's like oh I just need Esther there for me and that's different right? It's like okay maybe I'll reprioritize to be there for my friend when they need me. But if it was like a constant thing like hey I need to see you once a week yeah. as your boy. Like, like, and I mean, I'd be like, what, what the fuck is this? Like, are you not giving me, you're not, what, you're not gonna mother yeah. my children? What the fuck? Well, trust me, in the beginning, I was like, what the hell? Like, I was getting annoyed because I'm just like, dude, I literally just said I'm busy, you know? But, like, after hearing her and, like, she, like, we talked on the phone and then she got a little emotional. I was like, oh, something's, you know, she's been going through some stuff and she, maybe she was too embarrassed to, like, reach out to me and, like, mm. tell me straight up as to, like, why she needed me. Um, so like she kind of said it in that way where she was just like, oh, you have, you know, like how come I'm the only one making the effort, you know, mm. a, little, a little like defensively. Mm. But then I honestly am okay with her asking me for, you know, more, you know, more effort. Yeah, more effort because I'm just like, well, I know she loves me and I love her too. And um, I was like, I'm, I'm willing to.
it's not that hard to give mm-hmm. her a little more attention. Especially if they're going through something. Yeah, yeah. And I feel, yeah, so the context matters. And I feel like we all get caught up in our own busy lives and then kind of like resort to viewing something as a burden sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But just know that I would never look at you guys that way. The Even other party, the other party like the other friend, needs to have friends that they can also go to, you know, because yeah. sometimes they're relying on you because you're like, their main friend mm-hmm. and they don't have other close friends so a, a few weeks or months might go by and it's nothing to you but to them it's like oh, damn i yeah. haven't seen big them in a true very big true <laughs> a lot big of my friends true. are uh they they're going through like huge changes in their lives where they're moving in with their significant others and they're moving out of cities yeah. where in we your, all went to old age yeah that that we all went to after college and it's interesting because some of them have made decisions to like move out of state to buy a house because you can't buy one in california new york whatever but they're like isolated yeah. and I hear they're not doing well. Yeah. So like that point is interesting. What Brando was saying, cause it's like, I think it's super important that even if you're not hanging out with someone every day, that you're in an environment where there's at least a couple close people nearby. If you want that yeah. or else then, then you start going a little crazy. What about like cutting people off that like, like on purpose that aren't necessarily toxic, but they just don't align with you anymore. Is that when you just ghost them? Dude, it happens, natu- it. it happens naturally, yeah, it, though, right? It does yeah. happen naturally. Like, for example, like, we're so busy in all of our individual lives that if some random person, like, that you're like, I don't want to spend my time with, you're probably just, like, always skirting them. Yeah. To the point where, at, at a certain point, people get the hint. Mm-hmm. Some people don't. <laughs> some people fucking don't, man. I, I, I will turn <laughs> people down over and over every weekend, every day, almost. And it's like, damn, stop calling me. <laughs> Why don't you ever say no? it? Why don't you ever say it? Like, Because hey. I, I can't do it. I'm not mean like that. Uh, I'm yeah, the, just going to talk shit in my head. The worst thing about the music industry is you go to these events or something and you see somebody that you maybe mm-hmm. sort of worked with like three years ago and they're like, oh, we should catch up. We should do this. We should do... Look, you don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Don't even throw that empty gesture out there because I'm not going to agree to it. You know? No, no or it's always people that like if, if you're doing well, they're trying to like slurp yes. some clout and they got an idea to pitch you. Like oh. that's entertainment. Oh, yeah, yeah. no. I think is it all is it also an LA thing? Because I remember Sahar messaged me and she was like, Hey, I'm coming back, right? And I was like, Oh, you know what? If you have time in your schedule, I would like to take you and your friends and like take you around um LA and buy you dinner, right? And then when and then um when she came here, I was like, Hey, like, you know, like um I was gonna take you out. And she was like, Wait, really? She's like, I thought you I thought you were just saying it just to just to be nice, you know? Mm. And and then I was like, No, I was dead ass. And she was like, Oh. LA you're, people. You're yeah, you're you're a genuine person, but LA is filled with like I yeah. hear that fucking like he said, it's like you just kind of hear like LA yeah. people think like that's I feel like they think it's networking. And like, you're just like, but it's like, bro, how are you gonna try to set a lunch meeting with like fucking everyone at this party? And, <laughs> and like I'm not ever gonna fucking go out to lunch with most of these people. I don't wanna throw out an empty gesture, you know? Like I'm dead ass. Like if uh, I if way. I tell you, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna, you know, take you out. You know the thing I hate the most about going to events? You meet new people and then they just depress you <laughs> into fucking following them. I'm oh. like, why would you do that? Because I like I'm, I don't care, and now I have to wait a whole week before I unfollow <laughs> you. I'm gonna hey, unfollow hey. you. He's got a calendar unfollow like on different dates. He's like staring at it. He wakes up every morning and he's like, your day is coming. <laughs> your is day stressful? is every, coming. Every time he sees their story, he's just like, I can't wait. wait four, yeah. more, four more days. Are it's they are they making are they like following from like they press the follow for you, or what are you saying? They're like, I'll, I'll normally what it is, I'll meet somebody at a at a event, and they'll be like, oh yeah, let's connect on Instagram, and then I'll wait for them to like pull out their phone so they can type my name in, and they'll wait for me, and then since I'm a pussy, yeah, yeah, you're they're a pussy. waiting, yeah, they're waiting for me, so I was like, fuck, I pull my phone out, I'm like here, and they follow. And like, so okay, in a what's week, a good I'm way unfollow. to avoid that? Just don't. You don't have don't to. Go I don't, to I don't, tell them you don't have. Inst- <laughs> tell them you don't have Instagram. Yeah, lock myself in my room like I always. I used to. Ask this guy. I didn't follow him till. You know, oh, you're not. That's, 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 that's different. That's disrespectful. Yeah, that's I was disrespectful. In, every day in the group chat like day four hundred and sixty five. Hey, that's not, not that, following. That's me. not more disrespectful than somebody who's built businesses with him. Oh yeah, he didn't follow Jeremy on Instagram, bro. But 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 I'm literally. But what? I'm literally how and he followed other like lamos. Yeah, and that's. The thing you it's, know that's so consistent. disrespectful. It's not consistent. Yeah, his his not reasoning consistent. is not consistent because yeah. he'll be following. He'll see us every day, 
we'll laugh and share food together and spit in each other's mouths and everything. And, then, <laughs> and this motherfucker is following some random guy he met at a party with me, like like yeah, last yeah. week. And I'm like, why you follow him? And we're and who you're not following me. Wait, who, uh, who is this random guy? I don't know. Let's yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I've done the stalking, man. I've yeah, noticed. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, I wait. watch. So you're loud. throwing up a fake scenario. Also, it's not <laughs> fake. I didn't even follow Emotional Oranges until recently too. Oh, and I'm just saying, I the reason I don't had, didn't need to follow is because I'm helping you guys create content. So it's like I know what you guys are posting, right? And I see you guys no, you all the time. No, Editors, don't. cut this. Yeah, I, I post on <laughs> my story. Blasphemy. I post on my it's story, disgusting. my daily life. Like, yeah, okay, I'm part of it. I see you every day. Hey, I'm no, guessing he follows you. He follows me. I'm guessing he follows you. <laughs> oh, wait, he doesn't follow you still? No, no I, I do think follow he, him. he did when that situation arose. Oh, yeah, yeah, when I, when, I, when I threw a hissy fail. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But look wait, how quick what? he followed them. Yeah, like, exactly. So, exactly. again, inconsistent. Inconsistent. Liar. Liar. You stink. Lion you ass. Stink. Stinky poo. Ask hey, him hey, how hey. many posts he has. One. What does it matter? You're my friend. Yeah. Actually, or at least I thought you If were. you don't Big use fat. the platform, no, why would I follow you? That makes sense. I'm with Brando on this. I'm going to unfollow you now. You cannot yeah. have any more photos from me. Goodbye. <laughs> you don't you post stinky anything. boy. Oh, well, you hey, don't hey, post hey. anything. This, this is, this is like take the modern day photos. version of when people would fight over your top eight. MySpace is probably outdated for you. Do you remember, how to, remember did, MySpace? Did you have a MySpace? I, I was never allowed to have one. Ooh. Did you have a MySpace? Yeah. Do you remember Top Eight? Yeah, yeah. And that created problems in high school. Oh yeah, that was beef. Yeah. But I would, I had like a top thirty-two. Like what? you could, you could yeah, increase they, it. Oh. They changed it so you could do like whatever number you want. Thirty-two. That's not <laughs> just every person I ever knew. So no, <laughs> no, but then, but then the it mattered the matter. order. Yeah. Damn, who's your number one, Tom? Uh, no, Tom was never. Fuck Tom. My, I, got, I got rid of that motherfucker ASAP. <laughs> my version was Snapchat best friends. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's another one, and then, bro, when they could, oh, that was despicable what they did when you when they made it so that you could see other people's, other people's yeah. fucking uh, Snapchat best friends, yeah, bro. And then imagine like, and what, what if you don't use Snapchat a lot? Like, just one conversation with somebody made them your best friend. So then it's like random girls popping into my best friends list, and my girlfriend would be like, "Who the fuck is that?" I'm like, I literally she just asked me a question, and I answered it a few times, and now she's my best friend. A few times. <laughs> I was yeah. her. You shouldn't have responded. I know, for real. That's his fault. That's crazy. And we're like planning her surprise birthday party. And it's like her best Wait, Snapchat doesn't allow profile pictures or does it? No. Like real ones? It's like no, it's like only like a, yeah. So you could totally catfish people, right? You just have oh, to trust yeah. that you're. My bitmojis are so ugly. Like, I don't know how to make them look cool. <laughs> I look like a pedo. I'm just too lazy to like set up a bitmoji. Do they do face tattoos? Uh, nah, I don't think so. Oh. What does your bitmoji look like you? Uh, you st- I think it looks like me when I used to have braids. What? You used to have braids? <laughs> you used to have braids. <laughs> really? Why is that so surprising? What I you mean, just- <laughs> you're the first... The first Asian to have braids? Oh, you no, look why, Would you look like Keith A? Oh, what the Kinda, hell? Yeah. Yeah, let me see. Thank what, God you got what, a new yeah, haircut. Yeah, what the man. hell? What that, the hell is this? Also, yeah, I didn't that, have braids for long. I had it for like maybe two, three months. It does kind of look like it. Got, it got too like itchy. I didn't like it. Hey, 63,000 we like uh, snap score. What's like a, what's a high snap score? Let me like? see what, what makes mine you is. A mil? A million? Yeah. Well, I don't get what a snap score is. Every time you send a Snapchat. <laughs> every time you send a snap. Yeah. Every time you, you still send a Snapchat. Snap- and, re- no. and get one. You, I, I don't use it at all. It's never such a it. bum ass app. Yeah. It's like maybe like two, two people in my life maybe will hit My dad has a Snapchat. Her bitmoji is scary as hell. Don't look like her at all. Ew, dude. That looks like a like that looks like a white woman. Yeah, that looks like a yeah. that looks like an older that looks like a Karen. Okay, relax. My dad added me on Snapchat and I was like, oh my god, that is a sign he's dude, a my cheater. Oh <laughs> uh, what? Is that really? Yeah. Well, you can like why the hell do you have a Snapchat? <laughs> <laughs> my mom, uh I just realized I just found this out. My mom watches most of my content. No really? way. Does she watch the podcast? Yeah. I uh, really hope my mom say, does not Hi, hi Mrs. Podcast. Vit and uh, hi, Mrs. Mrs. Tran <laughs> and uh, Vietnamese. Hi, Mrs. Vit. Xin chào. Xin chào. Cô Chang. Xin chào, Cô Chang. Pretty good. Xin chào, Cô Chang. Xin chào, Cô Chang, Miss Tran. Xin chào, Cô Chang, Miss Tran. Cô, Cô Chang is like Miss Tran. Cô oh, Cô, Cô Chang is Miss Tran. Xin chào is hi. Xin chào. Xin chào. But how do you say Tran? Cô Chang? What? Go, go, go is like go? what you call in uh like an older lady. Go. And then go Chang. Chang is go like, Chang. Yeah. Go Chang. That's her first name. Go Chang. Oh, got it. In Vietnamese. Xin chào. 
Sun Chao. Was there ever a time in your guys' life where... Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Vitz mom, leave a comment. What do you think about the show? <laughs> what do you think about your son? Is he being a good boy? Do we need to spank him? Because we will. We do not hold back. <laughs> I don't think she has a YouTube account. I think she just like pops in and watches a few. Oh. That's sweet. Yeah. She, she saw really... my, uh, my uh, H Mart TikTok. Oh, my God. Does she, she understand? Disappointed in you? Because I'd be yeah. disappointed in you. She's like... Son, you have to buy more than just ramen and spicy chili. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying. He's like, you don't cook? I'm like, no, I just order carry out. You said you used to cook. I don't think you know actually how to cook. I, yeah, know how to I cook. think that was a lie. Yeah. I know how to cook. I've never seen if you, you don't cook. know Cooking how to cook. Cooking is very easy. If you don't know it's how to cook. just following directions. If you knew how to cook, then you would know what to buy to cook. Yeah, that's what I know it's what like, to it's buy. Like one plus one equals. Like if I sat down and made a list, I would know what to buy. Hey, you, we're going to continue the podcast. Take three minutes. Write down a grocery list. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to sit here like... <laughs> he's like motor oil. <laughs> Sweat is pouring down his head. He's fuck. You got the basics? It's you just got... four different brands of hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> you got rice. You got bread. What is your favorite rice hot sauce? Rice and bread together. <laughs> what, what you making? What the fuck? He's rice gonna, sandwich? He's, he's no, gonna, for the week. Oh, gonna... we were talking about one dish? No, like a grocery... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about a dish. What would you buy? I would buy rice and fish. Uh, seasoning, olive oil. What kind of seasoning? Okay, no, he's on, he's on it so far. Okay, we don't have to get to, we don't have to stump him. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of seasoning? Yeah, they have pre-made seasoning. seasoning. Uh, fish oil or not fish oil? Fish fish <laughs> sauce. Seasoning. Uh, what else do I normally use? Salt pepper. You should already have that at the crib. Salt pepper. So any any garnishes? It's like chives and uh, cilantro. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I know. I used to work as a cook. Yeah, no, we know that. But when you go to H Mart, you get nothing. <laughs> Makes a question. <laughs> Sometimes, it's so, man. It's so good, though. It's so good. You guys know how to use a wok? Yeah. Oh, now you're trying to flex. Yeah, I bet I you don't. I am. Huh? I bet you don't. I do. Hell yeah, let's see. You gotta hit him with the Where's our brick at? Yeah, I'm yeah. still waiting on that brick. Hey, you guys know that one guy on um, um, TikTok? He's like... Yeah. Dim yeah, Sim Lim? Yeah, 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 that guy. That's my homie. master. He's the rice bender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's very good with that shit. I like watching them like grab like seasoning with the liquid yes. ladle and then they just like oh, yeah. let it fly up and it drops in. I'm or like, how they mix with the back of the spoon so and they're just flinging you it. You break it up. Yeah. <laughs> I will say a walk is... Was was a little. Uh, it was harder to learn than I thought, but it was also easier to learn. Wait, I wanted to know what everyone's favorite hot sauce was. I love puldak. What puldak? Puldak. Puldak. Bang. That's Ramen. so like Korean version of a hot Cheeto girl. Bull You're a puldak girl. Puldak has like a chemically f- yeah, taste. Very to chemically. It's that is. Capsaicin. Capsaicin. It, yeah, uh, oh, puldak is like the favorite? the. the fu- it's direct translation fire chicken, but it's a brand of uh, spicy noodles. That's like it's like a challenge. They oh, make it I know stupid spicy. About. I don't like that. Yeah. Oh, I love it. The flavor's not good. I like it, the it spice. tastes like chemical. Yeah. yeah, I like the noodles aren't good. The, the, my bad. The noodles are not. I feel very passionately about this. Yeah, keep going. The noodles are not good. No. It's I, like it's my worst. I hate that those type of noodles. When it comes to instant noodles, they should be thin. Um, the flavor. There's literally no flavor other than other than the spice, and the spice is already so hot that you cannot taste flavor anyways. But it's not even like most spice comes from peppers or something, and this one is straight capsaicin. Just, yeah. Like. Yeah, Chemical, and, yeah. And your feelings are completely valid, Vit. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But I still love it. <laughs> and I'll still eat it. So. Well, yours aren't valid. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like uh, I like the flavor of Cholula. Cholula. I like t- Tapatio, but then Cholula tastes better to me. Mm. It, it, it needs a little more kick. Also, Taco Bell fire s- hot sauce tastes better than the fire. It's not very spicy, but the flavor of the hot is really good. I like good. the Diablo the best, the hottest mm. one. I feel like I don't taste the Diablo. I love that shit. Tabasco Wait. is the best. Tab- a little too vinegary. Yeah, I think Tabasco like is vinegary. only good with oysters. I yeah, don't. Tabasco's I don't put it in anything else. Things, yeah. And then if you're eating a Chipotle bowl, the Chipotle uh, Tabasco tastes really delicious. Mm. Uh, there's this new one I just discovered. My management sent me a little like Christmas gift of like a bunch of like hot hot honey like stuff like that, Ooh. right? But Condiments. Dabs or Zabs is it? Zabs, right? Zabs. It's called slow burn hot sauce made from the Dabril pepper or some shit, where the the, the spice is like a slow can build up. Mm. That shit is delicious. I don't like, like slow build up. Mm. You never even tried it. Yeah, what are you yeah. talking about? No, I 
Hot yeah. honey, hot honey is an amazing I invention. Love hot honey. Yeah, so you like honeys. it when you can taste the spiciness, like from the from yeah, yeah. Because it makes sense. If I bite into a pepper, I want no, the spice. If you, right if you like Tabasco, though, you'll like this hot sauce because it's like Tabasco, but like more better flavor in my. Opinion. My mouth mm. is watering. Yeah, dude, uh, the sriracha story is pretty crazy. How, I oh, sriracha. I love sriracha. Sriracha is sriracha. Sriracha. sriracha is up there, but um, it's like my ketchup. Yeah, the guy who started, they're like multi-billionaires, yep. keep, private company, keeps it in the family. Never like, fucking uh, advertised. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's so crazy that you can build a billion. Same with Costco, low-key. We're right? just they giving don't, them free promo? So, yeah. Hell yeah. Well, no, we're going to bleep sh- every, yeah. Slobbing on the sriracha knob, man. Ooh, what about the sriracha, though? What oh, that, that that was a story? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I have something to say. You know how they had a, a sriracha shortage? Yeah. And I have a restaurant, right? We do not have sriracha, but they have a new, like, sriracha. That tastes like nothing. It's just like a little, like a hint of sauce. No like flavor. Like fake sriracha? Fake sriracha. You know how when you go to fall restaurants, they give you that package yeah. that says like sriracha on it. It's not really sriracha. Really? Yeah, I don't know what they, you're they're, about. They've been selling that more because there's a sriracha shortage. These are, these are and insider it's, secrets. Yeah. No, and, it's not, and it's not good. From inside the industry. <laughs> with <us. laughs> industry. Yeah. Somebody's slanging like fake sriracha. It's like fentanyl. <laughs> Someone's desperate. cutting the sriracha. God, I love Fetty. We're desperate. We can't even uh, make our I'd be forgetting that she, she has a restaurant at times. Why? Because I don't do anything at home? Yeah, Loki, I don't, I don't know what you do with your days, actually. What would you be doing without this podcast? Sleeping <laughs> in the hell? Doesn't that sound amazing? No, 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 but like career wise, career wise. Huh? We shoot so late in the day, you'd be sleeping in. Yeah. I love sleeping. Like once you have like like She had to start waking three, up early to get to the podcast. Once you, once, 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 once once you get like once you get like three pumps of tahini, you're just like, No, you're the only person up. I know that does that. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> well, it's better than taking Benadryl. All right, but what would your career be if you weren't doing this podcast? Um I would be in construction management. <laughs> Why? That was that was my major. Oh, really? Yes. Interesting. You didn't listen at all. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I just zoned the fuck out. I find it very interesting. During her interview. Good for you. That's not nectar. That's not nectar. Okay, so I have to make up a career. Yeah. Um, just make up a new company. <laughs> Hector. <laughs> <laughs> um, we teach you Spanish. <laughs> That's a tough one. Just because I hated the entertainment industry, like I was so burned out by the end of it. And I hadn't really figured out what I was good at. So I feel like I'd just be like, at that point, what I was ready to do is just take a high paying job. So I'd probably be trying to just like work for a tech company or some shit. Doing what though? Like product management? Uh, I I think I'd be good at like marketing or sales or I'd figure something out like that. Whatever. Tech tech sales makes a lot of money. Yeah, whatever would like. I I don't like sales, but I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, I hate sales. So actually I'd probably do something in like marketing and try to grab a bag. I do it solely. I'd pick the job that pays me the highest. I don't care if I'm passionate about it. Yeah. If you made it to this point in the podcast, comment down below what you think our careers would be if mm. we were not doing what we're doing. Mm. And you again. have to X out nectar for him and bar chemistry for me. Once mm. again, I didn't get to answer. No, we're, no, still, we're still going still around going. the circle. Oh, yeah. You know what? Now you don't get to answer. It's not like what you were doing saying? a transition. I was going to say, I feel like Jeremy could be a erotic what? <laughs> novel novelist. What? What do you Dude, mean? He always says some <laughs> weird, like disgusting thing <laughs> in a very... <laughs> Do you, you you know what I'm talking no, about, right? I don't. Okay. Give us an example of why you think he would be good at that, because I'm not <laughs> understanding. He always has like an example where he's like, as I write Wutok. <laughs> oh, that one time, remember I was t- and start writing. <laughs> remember that time I did? I was like describing how I would grab you by your pigtails. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. It was, it was recorded on the podcast. Really? He yeah. does it often. Really? I don't. I, you Do I just tune remember? it out? Like what? No, no, you're laughing too. Really? I think I think you're scarred though. But ew. as I grip onto his <laughs> large, meaty forearms, each one feeling like a Disneyland turkey leg. <laughs> oh, oh, my neck. See how disgusting that is? I just strained my neck. My laughing. knuckles are white as he tries to release from my grip, <laughs> but I pull him closer. He has no chance of escape. <laughs> <laughs> See what 
I mean? Yeah, okay, I yeah, see what you mean. He's now. really good. That's, that's a valid. That's very a valid good and descriptive. That's gross. <laughs> I, I, th- I just think Jeremy would be a comedian. <laughs> no, no, no. I low think Jer- I think per- me personally, when I watch the podcast, <laughs> Jeremy yeah. makes me laugh the most. But Jeremy's not like a stand-up comedian. He's like a Andrew Schultz, like like oh. recorded, prepped comedian type of person. You know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't I- do stand-up because I don't have enough stories. Like. I don't, you do, don't do anything. Yeah, I don't do shit. Like, what do I got to talk what I'm about? Saying. Like, like, most, just like most Andrew comedians, Schultz. it's not what they like. They they, they make up. Yeah, stories. they make shit happen because yeah. it's like yeah. it fits the vibe. Yeah, or whatever. but his life really is boring. I mean, even Vit fell asleep in his interview. <laughs> <laughs> Makes yeah, sense. That up. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I have to say sorry. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> reparations. <laughs> I'll wait till I get my reparations. What wait, should what my I- reparations be? <laughs> what would you have to sell a million boxes? You know what? No, I'm done. I'm being selfish. <laughs> Don't be boring. <laughs> hey, you know what? Unplug his mic. Take his chains. <laughs> Take his chains. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, just rob him. What about you guys? Oh, dude, I really <laughs> fucked up my neck from laughing just now. Mm. I'm getting old. Uh, what, <laughs> what, what would you be, man? Um, I would find a sugar mama, like a rich one. Mm. Get her money. Start posting pictures of me with Lamborghinis and cars. <laughs> Get into Forex. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real question. Let's say, like, she's like 70 years old, saggy, like, just Ugh. decrepit. But, 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 just decrepit. But the clock is ticking and there's a big old bag waiting for you. But 70, it, the but, clock is not ticking that. No, 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 no that for her, fast. for her, because she smokes cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, lots of them. She okay, but two day. years, two years. No, 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 no. We don't know the time. It could be anywhere between, if you're lucky too, but it could maybe she could squeak out to like squeak five out. more years, but it's a like generational wealth waiting for you. <laughs> I would do that. Of course I would. You would? And you got a generational hey, wealth. Hey, but you got to be posting with her. You know what I mean? Oh. Like you got to got And oh. she's horny. She's really yeah, yeah, horny. Not all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Posting is wild. Posting. She likes to be shown off. She likes to yeah. have sex day and night. Oh. She makes her own TikToks. You know, have you seen those on TikTok? Where oh, it's like yeah. Age. Wait, but is she watching the stories and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. She's caught up on the times. I was just yeah. saying, because then you could be like, you know, this is my mom or some shit. No, 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 no. No, she likes, she likes to kiss on camera. Put her on close yeah. stories. She likes to do couples TikToks. Generational wealth? Gener- Let's like, say $100 million. $100 million is the, is I would the do inheritance. It. Because I care about my ancestors. Wait, your ancestors. ancestors, descendants. Yeah, you can't, you can't do nothing shysty. You can't like step on no a oxygen does. tube. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Man, I can't breathe. He's like, I'm gonna help you. His like, toe is on it. He's like, I would no. just hire a film crew to make it look like we're filming a reality show. TLC, <laughs> publicize it even more. Well, just make it seem like this is not real. This is a reality show. No, I feel like at that point I would have to publicize it more. I would just have to own it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would have to. But own you're it. not allowed to be like, dude. I'm getting a bag at the end of this. You no, that's like- implied. Yeah, it's low key implied. Yeah, and Nicole Smith. He's like trying to cop the PS5. <laughs> Nicole. Man's about to Anna cop Nicole the PS5. Smith. Who's that? Who's Anna Nicole Smith? She's the most famous gold digger ever. Really? She Why? married a really, really rich man, but he was like super old. Like he was in a wheelchair, right? He was about to like he was, pass yeah, away about, already. Yeah. But Why did that the, guy got, marry she her? Got the what an idiot. She's hot, she was though. the biggest playmate She's in the hot. world. Really? Mm-hmm. Every year he was like, look, I made it. She's <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> She's like, not again. Another birthday. <laughs> With you, my love. <laughs> Iron- ironically, they died at the same time. Wait, what? really? She what? died from drugs. Oh, she died oh, very young. Overdose? Yeah. Oh. That's oh. that's a terrible investment. That's the worst gold digger of all time. What? Not the best. Do you think, do you think that she loved him? Uh, what? Did she no? say she I mean, was in love with him? How could, I mean, no, you kind of have wasn't. to act like it, right? Well, hold up. I feel like that's... The, what the the Playboy Mansion was? It's like you're a young like girl, and you have to pretend to like Hugh Hefner. I Probably. think they genuinely liked him, though. I don't no, know. They no, dropped dude. that documentary. That documentary was gross. Everybody shredded. He I mean, was they having, made wait, him look terrible. They were it. having sex with animals. What? what? He he was Hugh he was Hefner little, used to fuck animals. He was a little pervert. Ew. He'd make oh, him do weird. No things. shit. He was a pervert. His whole brand is like he's old as shit and obsessed with sex. Yeah. Wait. So they hated him or what? Yeah. A lot of them. Or came they were out. disgusted. Yeah. Yeah, it was Even the abusive. main ones like Holly Madison and how do you know them? Man? Yeah, what the I've never they had a TV show. S- Sure Toro. Sure Toro. Sure Toro. Yes. Sure Toro. Well, I yeah, I, I watched the gossip. I watched Loves the show. Gossip. She does oh. love gossip. I watched it on YouTube. Wait, wait, wait. What was the name of the documentary? 
I type in Playboy documentary Hugh anti Hugh Hefner. It like came out and, and they just shred him. I, let's be honest. Did we think that some old white guy, extra, yeah. like strangely obsessed with sex, was not going to be creepy? Like, I mean, he built that mansion too. Like it was like his weird like fantasy. Super back weird. then, they were all even weirder. They could yeah. get away with more. Yeah, like exactly. Like there was no social media for people to get on and expose people. Like, That's true. but I think some of the main ones turned against him too. Is he? Did he die? Yeah, he yeah. did die, right? Yeah, he died, he oh, died and then the documentary dropped. Well, speaking about dying, how would you guys want to be remembered when Wait, you die? Wait, you didn't say what your job would be. Oh, wow, ruined my transition. Yeah, yeah. he ruined it. Yeah. I did okay. my best. It's okay. I've been trying real hard. No, you've been doing well. Thank you. Hmm? Almost makes up for you leaving me at my house. <laughs> Get over <laughs> it, man. He, need, hey, you need reparations from him too. Yeah. He owes us all reparations yeah, yeah. at this the point. Minute, hey, in the minute, instead of taking accountability, <laughs> he's like, "Fuck you, man." <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> you gonna bring this up forever or what? <laughs> I already said sorry like twice, bro. <laughs> God, you're acting crazy. <laughs> Damn. So what would Wu Talk be? I'm trying to think. It would have been better if we all picked for each other, Loki. Mm, so thinking e- about what you would do. Esther, what let's let's redo it then. Yeah. What would Esther be? <sighs> better not be only fans, model. <gasps> you know what happens when we talk about that? No, it's okay. Um what? <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't gonna bring it up. I won't bring it up. Yo, think. the dry shampoo left my hands like very clammy. Yeah, yeah. It, clammy? It like a, well, you have to wash them after, but I'm trying to think of what Esther would be. A school teacher. I was actually a school teacher before. No, you weren't. I was. What do you mean? Yeah, I worked at a private daycare. Are you being that ass or are you like... I swear. Really? What? How yes. old? Uh, they were They were four to six. I so think. I was right. Mm, yeah. That's Wait, guess. that I was also a counselor for three to no, that, six years. You should not be allowed to be a counselor. <laughs> that shit's so fun. It was. It was nice because we got like <laughs> they. We got like really nice, uh, really good food. It was like a private little. Bro, little. I would never leave my children <laughs> at a daycare. That fucking Brando worked at. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Surprisingly, kids love Brando. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they do. They do actually. But I used to like throw balls at them and stuff. Like I would, <laughs> they can't awesome. they can't tell on me. I'm their counselor, you know. So I just <laughs> play tricks on them the whole time. That's why I won't leave them there. <laughs> like when you play dodgeball, he's playing a little harder. Or he's like teaching them like, things <laughs> like like to go back home and do it to you, and it's yeah. just like like where did my child learn this? <laughs> yeah, no, he's the type of dude to teach the kid the alphabet in the wrong order. Yeah, some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's like an experiment. Wow, you would think I was a teacher though? No yeah. one. No I can one. feel like you'd be like a nail tech. <laughs> Honey, come get the nice nail. Hey, take, the, take the hat off. It's making them too. Yeah, oh. you're, you're becoming too racist. I mean, no, that's fine. Oh. Um, I'm back. <laughs> see what I mean? He's weird. He's so weird. <laughs> My powers. I can are, see Jeremy being a theater actor. My powers are getting stronger. <laughs> a theater kid. You, you yellow folk be talking real loud. <laughs> Keep it down, why don't you? Yeah, he dresses like a theater kid. He does that dress like a theater dress kid. Dress like a theater kid. I don't wear a cat ears and a tail. What the? Honestly, I uh, I was in theater in in middle school. That explains everything. But 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 I was never good at like scripts. I was never good at like someone telling me how yeah, to improv, act. Improv. And also and also the theater plays were super corny. So it's hard for me to like really get in character. And what really happened, what ruined my love for the theater is I really felt like the teacher was Racist. All the other kids, all all the light complexion kids, the got, what? got the better roles. Yeah. And so and so there was this the last play that's that cause, I, that's because it's fucking Peter Pan, not fucking Peter Chan. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> but anyways, the last play I was in was Midsummer Night's Dream, and the only set piece was this giant chair. It was huge, and you were the chair. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I had one line in the entire play and she would make me come to these like four hour rehearsals after class. And my scene, sometimes I wouldn't even go up to say my line because it wasn't the scene. So I told her, I was like, dude, like, why am I supposed to be here if I only have the line? Just tell me the day I'm going to, I need to come in for my line. And she was just a huge bitch. She's like, if you want to be part of the play, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I got a crazier story about her. I just hit, but I'll tell you that after. So I'm bored. I'm just dicking around. So one of the blackouts, so she sits, watches the stage, the big chairs there. And I'm like, just like bored. The, the 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 scene blacks out and I sprint and I slide right before the next scene starts and I'm hiding behind the chair and I'm just like peeking out looking at my friends and they're like cr- everyone's like cracking up during the rehearsal and then one of the blackouts the lights go out again and I poke my head out before the lights go out and my friends are just stone cold like and I'm like what 
and she pops up behind the the scene and she's like get the fuck out you want to fuck around you're out you're out of the play so then i had to like i called my mom and i, I lied to her i was just like i don't want to be in the play anymore uh just pick me up but that was the last time she ruined my love for the theater yeah, yeah wow. he totally would have been a fucking yeah, a theater actor. But listen to this. This is even crazier story. So in the theater class, there was this huge life-size doll, like uh-huh. taller than us, and it was named Raul. And it was just like had clothes, whatever it Weird was. name for a life-size yeah, doll. Yeah, it was just a life-size doll that was in the class, and no one thought anything of it. Of it. And just as a joke one time, me and my friends, like it was just like an open like theater class, and we're like, bro, like what if La- Raul had a dick? And we just start like, we were just like starting to like mess around with Raul. She's like, hey, get away. Don't touch Raul. And we're like, oh shit, what the hell? So I get suspended for something else. And and so I'm, I'm, I'm not allowed to go to school. My parents are grounding me. And this is months later. And all of a sudden, I hear banging on my front door. And, and I'm grounded. So I'm in my room and I hear my mom. And then I hear my friends like, hey, we don't want to hang out with Jeremy, but can he just come to the front door for like five minutes? She's like, yeah, like whatever. I come to the front door and they're like, Bro, and it's a Saturday. They're like, there was an open window in the theater room, and look. And he pulls out his video camera, and it's my friend standing around Raul. And they go like, we got in the theater room, and we're here with Raul. And they grab his pants, and they pants him, and there's a dick. It's a cloth dick with yarn pubes on Raul. Oh, that's wild. Wild. And it's like, it's just like a replica. Like, who puts yarn pubes? Like a giant one or like a... a like a, Raul was a big doll and it had a proportionate dick. Damn. He had like a swinging dick. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, with, it, was, it was the wildest... Yeah, it was Wait, the wildest thing. she... No, it was it, cloth, it, though. Yeah. It was like a cloth. I was going to say, if, if it was like just like a like a stapled on dildo, it would have been oh, crazy. That would have been, yeah. Yeah. That would way been crazier. crazy. But it was like a... But why is there a dick on this Wait, doll? Why does it have yarn? It had like really like detailed like... <laughs> That's good craftsmanship. Yeah. You complain about everything, Wait, man. Was it was it like attached to that dollar? Was yes. it sewn on? That shit was the same so skin creepy. color That's as creepy. the. the yeah. Oh, okay. Creepy. So so it was made like that. It, yeah, somebody put an effort to oh. make it that way. But why would you keep? You're a middle school theater teacher. Why would you have that in the classroom? Yeah, that's a weird fucking thing to have. Well, why do Barbies have boobs? Yeah, but they're kind of like and no, can, yeah, they're like, can also it's just flat. Like a, a shape. That's they're true. Not, they have yeah, nipples. Yeah, if there was like crafted boobs. Oh, he had he had a ball sack too. He had a sack and dick and balls and yarn yarn pubes. That's, That's crazy. It was crazy. Raul is like her ex husband that she's like obsessed with, and she just made a life size replica of him. Dude, was he at least cute? A handsome, handsome doll. Sigh. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah, not my type. Could, but yeah. could you describe the doll? See if I can find a picture. How would you find a picture, I, dude? That cool. that that shit was like homemade. Like, yeah. it was nicely made, but it was, like, I'd never seen a doll like it. It was, like, imagine, like, a Sour Patch Kid. Do you remember those dolls? Oh. But, like, clot, like, Wait, big. It was, like... That's a Cabbage Patch Kid, not a Sour Patch Kid. Yeah, Sour Patch Kid. It was the size of, I would say, like, Brando. Maybe I was smaller back then, so it looked bigger. But it was a bit, like, you would me. have to, like... What? It was me. <laughs> <laughs> Did it have facial hair? <laughs> Yeah, so... All right, so we've gotten to the bottom of it. Jeremy would have been a theater actor. Yes. On Broadway. Maybe. I could see it. In the first rendition of Peter Chan, you would have been been lead. And uh, school teacher? Vit? Why'd you start laughing, man? I looked at you and I was like, what job can this guy Nah, nah, Vit owns a liquor store for sure. (laughs) Yeah. He's the oc? Yeah, 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 yeah. Vit owns a liquor store. No, I'm trying to think, what would Vit actually do if it wasn't social media? Are we talking about after... Face that or before? Uh, nah, you're, right, no, right, it's right, right now, now, right now, right now. Yeah, like you right now, what would you be doing yeah, right no now? No social media, there was no podcast, social media career. Yeah. At a dispensary. dispensary. Nah, I hate weed. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't like nails, but they put me as a nail tech, so <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta take it. <laughs> what could? If you kept going with the cook thing, maybe you'd be a chef. Yeah. Actually, I wanted to be a chef. Ah, chef. Let's pick chef. Because a chef is a position you could become well-respected in yeah. while still basically having face tattoos. Hey, he, he he wanted to be a chef, but he'd go to the store, wouldn't know what to buy. <laughs> <laughs> comes back with two chili oils. All the dishes he cooks just yeah. comes out as ramen with ramen. chili oil. <laughs> I will be a say, chef when you can only cook ramen. I used to, I used to work, when I was working at, at a, at, as a chef, I worked at a Vietnamese like pho spot. So and it was attached to a, what a like big an surprise. Yeah, um, a lot of the meals I cooked 
other than like the dishes that were on the menu was I went and bought two packets of ramen and then I would just put like crab meat and then <laughs> bok choy and like I would I would spruce it up like <laughs> crazy sprucings. Hey, hey, no, no. He wouldn't be like a chef with a restaurant. He'd be one of those TikTok chefs like selling out their car. Have you seen that? No. no. I'll send it to you. There's like this guy who makes like Florida soup in styrofoam cups and he walks up to mm. people's windows. Florida soup? That's You'll see. Like, I, can't, I can't even tell. No, but the whole videos are people. I can't even tell what it is. They're like. You this. just reminded me of when, when I used to work in uh, K-Town in Manhattan at a Korean restaurant and every staff meal was just ramen. <laughs> and um, but it would be like the most banging right. Like Dude. we had beef broth, so we'd like yeah. put like oh. actual beef broth, oh. half beef broth, half uh boiling Packed, hot yep. water, and then Hungry. with the with the soup packet, and then fucking like you have the options of everything. Like we could put like baby octopus, pork belly, Bro. kimchi, and then like depending on who made it that day, it'd be different. Like you know what I mean? Mm. But and I was eating ramen like legitimately every day. It was so <laughs> yeah. amazing. And you never got sick of it. No, oh, I know no. how much you love ramen, but like every day. No, no because it was so like, many different flavors. Yeah, it was so yeah. much different with shit. With so many different sprucings. It's like the, the noodle. Was, it's just like rice, but adding all the things you can mm-hmm. eat with the rice. Ramen was just a vessel for all the other things. Yeah. I guess it's like me eating hot pot. I get different things when I go there. If yeah. I was to eat it like three times a week. Yeah. Do you ever eat hot pot three times a week? Of course. Holy shit. What's wrong with that? I would. I love hot pot. Go into like a sodium. But guess what? Shock. No, but there's but there's also different broth, True. right? And then yeah. you can put different things. Delicious. Uh-huh. All, right. All right. This is my last day on set. Me too. Did his Starbucks come or what? <laughs> is he about to poop his pants? No, he's just getting a water. Oh. Uh, hey, I know what you would be. What would I be? You'd be like a, like a boot camp instructor. Oh, like a... Fitness boot camp instructor. Because you could yell at people and oh, you're into hell fitness. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. What? No, what? A drill sergeant. No, you couldn't make it in the army. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're, I don't you're, see him threatening, so I don't know. Maybe like that's because I never. Why would I no, threaten? No, no, no. You would be a slutty personal trainer. No, for I would sure. not. Sleeping with all the clients. Okay, I can yeah, see that. Yeah, I can see that. Hands around, that. hands around their hip. Today we're gonna do hip no, thrusters. No, that's creepy. Mister, I'm we'll not... talk. We've done that right every <laughs> single session. You gotta perfect it. <laughs> see, I told you. I would not do that. Hey, he's wearing fingerless gloves. <laughs> he's got a ponytail. Don't be, don't be like that <laughs> a, little, a little goatee. <laughs> yeah, make, sure, yeah. make sure your chin is up no. like this. No, we can't. No, no, not a goatee, a chin strap. No, this is not This is not at all what I would do. Please stop. Hell yeah. No he stands like this when you come to the gym. Where have you been? You missed your workout. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. He's the type, hey, hey, try to talk to you when he's naked in the sauna. I hate when people try to talk to me in the sauna. I used to work at a gym and like these, the members would like try to talk to me in the sauna. Bro. Never. Stop. I'm, I'm not creepy. Like that. Don't, don't put this image out there, please. He wears short shorts. Yeah, yeah. I, I do short wear shorts. Short, I wear short shorts. Yeah. I, I like before, my thighs. Before bartending or after? I guess we're removing bartending out the equation because that would make it too easy. I'll just be a bartender, I guess. A server. <laughs> so creative. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Said a, a server. <laughs> <laughs> the next easiest yeah, one, I yeah. guess. Uh, used car salesman. <laughs> he gives me used car salesman vibes. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. Honestly. <laughs> used car man. What? Used car man, he said. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what... Vince brain is thinking when he just fucks up certain words. Or I could see Wu Talk like running like a hotel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, just, what? Just yelling at all the staff. He's a GM. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, why am I nah, always yelling at the a, staff? Yo, he's a GM of a motel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he works at a guitar center in Hacienda Heights <laughs> with a chin strap. <laughs> why? Soul patch. This is a fucking <laughs> fake. <laughs> he's got this a. <laughs> No, he owns he owns a consignment store. <laughs> What's consignment? Consignment, like it's like a thrift you thrift store. Like shoes uh-huh. Oh, fashion. Yeah, fashion oh, okay. stuff. Yeah, and then they sell like vintage things. Yeah, I'll take that one. No, that's yeah. too cool, bro. Take that back. No, that's realistic. I'm not okay, a slutty fine. personal trainer. <laughs> like what the fuck? He works at Goodwill. Is that better? <laughs> hey, big props to those workers. <laughs> Wait, we know what Goodwill... Hey, isn't Goodwill like a giant scam? It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's horrible. Yeah, Goodwill is a scam. Salvation Army is the good one. Don't don't no, donate your clothes to Goodwill. No, I've heard that they're the good one. The peop- the fake Santa Claus is on the street collecting no, not, not, money? Oh, That's Salvation not, not Army. Not those ones. Goodwill, they resell it for money. So Yeah, whatever. I, I don't trust any of these fucking They're expensive non-profits. for no reason. It's like 10, like 20 bucks for a jacket. I'm hey, just I like, would be dude. a pastor, I think. 
Oh, spot on. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck this. Yeah. What you, you make me out to be a creep with a soul patch. <laughs> I can't even grow facial hair. I don't know why we changed my physiology all of a sudden. A pastor? Yeah. Creepy pastor. <laughs> no, Wait. That's... With a soul patch. <laughs> no soul patch. I'm not creepy. Speaking of weird holy people, you guys didn't know what. Oh, what I saw Lama it after did? you said it. Who? The, Dalai Lama. Oh, no, Did no. you guys see it? No, 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 no. Say, say it. Hey, can we hit the Eric's AC Please, too? yeah, I'm sweating. I'm damp. Ew. I'm moist all over. I'll wait for Brando. Dude, it's crazy. I yeah. saw the video. Wait, yeah. I want to I I know. Didn't see it. Explain. Anything. Okay, so. You, you know who Dalai Lama is? You know what it reminded me of? You yes. know who, Yeah, you know the Dalai Lama. <laughs> Let him tell the story first. Uh, We're stealing his spotlight. Okay, sorry. No, Fuck I his spotlight. I didn't, I didn't need to tell it. Dalai Lama, this is the 14th Dalai Lama, right? Uh-huh. Mm. It's like a know. pope, but for Buddhists. Buddhists, yeah. Uh, yeah, basically, he's old and creepy, but when he was, I don't know what city he was in, but he had a kid come up and, like, you know, he's talking to him. And then he makes, he physically grabs the kid to kiss him on the lips. And then the kid's like, I don't want to do that. And then he's like, now suck my tongue. And he said it out loud into the mics in so front of a bunch what of people. It, what it was was like some kind of school graduation. And so the Dalai Lama was like sitting in front giving a talk. And then, yeah, he called up the kid and he went through all that. But you know what it looked like? Do you remember this scene in Jungle Book when Mowgli's like sitting in front of the giant ape, like the ape king? It looked like it's a tiny little boy, and he's like, "Kiss my lips," and the kiss, he's like, "Kiss me on the lips," and the kiss is like, the kid's like, and it like they kind of touch, and the Dalai Lama's like staring at him, like, ha, 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 ha. "Now suck my tongue," yeah. and the kid's like, <laughs> and everyone's just sitting yeah. there, just like shocked. It's so that crazy. was a mistake, right? Like he was, like he it wasn't meant to be spoken into the mic. No, no, no. I think he just didn't he, care. He was he oblivious. He thought it was like a sign of affection. He thought it was like cute and funny, but now everyone's like. What is he doing behind yeah, the scenes? Creepy. They're like, what the hell? What the fuck, yeah. dude? I saw that shit on Twitter. I was like, what the fuck? That's yeah. hella creepy. <laughs> Super, like, yeah, I don't know Holy how he gets shit. out of that one, but he's. I don't think he cares. He's about to die, isn't he? Yeah, but it's like, is he, it, like he's that old. He's I wonder. Pretty old. I wonder if people are gonna start coming out. It's like you know, Whoa. surviving the Dalai Lama. Yeah, it's crazy though. Yeah. It's There's a lot of creepy things going on in religious <laughs> practices. Okay, hey, after uh, after the fucking um, the conspiracy episode with Jumpers Jump, we watched uh, Eyes Wide Shut. Dude, that sh- I couldn't sleep properly. What's that about? That's one of my favorite movies all time. Oh, really? Yeah, Wait, sure what is it called? Your is favorite it? movies. <laughs> Eyes Weirdo. Wide Shut. Tell me the tell me the plot. He's probably, that's the fucking guy in the red robe. <laughs> I've is fucking... been to one of those parties. Hey, you tell the, explain the plot. Right, explain go, the plot. Ahead, go ahead. I'll, I'll explain it because. Well, he's. You, are you, you on camera? You, you don't have a camera. Yeah, he's got a camera. Oh. oh, isn't that a little contradictory? What do you mean? Eyes wide shut. No, no the, the idea is that when you when when truth is revealed, but you you purposely don't want to see it. You avoid looking at it. Oh. That's that's the same, oh, dude. God, it's so, so, so scary. So eyes oh. wide shut. Uh, it, the whole base, the whole thing just basically follows the idea of like promiscuity, and then exploring that promiscuity. promiscuity. Prom- promiscuity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Said it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just trying Watch to. Watch your I lip. Did, well, well, I was just trying to figure out the word you said. <laughs> Ooh, Anyways, is this how man. Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman meet? Hey, no, wrong, actually, man. they they got divorced right after that movie. Ooh. Yeah. So, um, basically, main character is a. Uh, very successful doctor and uh, has big friends in like big places. Um, moving into the movie, his promiscuity that which comes from basically his wife, who's practically wanting to be uh, wanted to cheat on him, uh, led him to basically trying to almost cheat on her, but never successfully does. Which leads him to this weird, ominous pe- place. Where people are like in masquerade masks, like covered face, and it looks like it's something straight out of like of a like devil worship. And it's, it's like a sex it's, party. Yeah, <clears throat> but like not just a sex cult. party. It's like straight up like it's like a cult, and it's just it's creepy the whole yeah. way through. I feel like d- <laughs> what? Huh? What? You, you can say something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the creepy thing about it is this was Stanley Kubrick's last movie he made, right? And then he died afterwards died right and the whole movie it's very like everything you read about like illuminati like sex parties and how they do these weird fucking like devil worshiping orgies it was exactly that like Mm. basically right and then um so people theorize that basically he exposed too much of like what the what the actual happenings are behind at like these like secret society like uh satanic worship like orgies and uh 
And then, yeah, and then they just murk them afterwards. So it's, like, Whoa. accurate? Dude, he, he, and it's, he, yeah, it's very accurate to, like, what the conspiracy... Like, you know, like, when you... Yeah, people reveal it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's like, I escaped one of those parties. Here's so. another thing about it. Uh, the, they, the movie's much longer, but they never released the full cut of the movie yeah. to this day. It does feel like there's shit missing in the... And then, and then the after, like, he basically sneaks into that party in the movie. Uh, spoiler warning. He sneaks into that. The reason why he ends up there, he like sneaks in. He was never invited. He was just there, uh, and he thought he could get away with just he, popping he in. He kind of was invited by the piano player. Yeah, I mean, kind kind of, not really. The I want to wa- I, I watch it, so don't reveal too much. Okay, yeah. No, it's basically, creepy. just he stumbles across this shit, and then they really show you in detail, like this is like a fucking Satan worshiping orgy, like basically, like with the with the r- rituals and like. The symbolism, they use real satanic symbolism in the movie, like, all over the place, and it's, like, fucking creepy. Very similar to Squid Game, too, like, how the fucking elites, like, wore these animal masks and shit, yeah. and, like, very fucking scary, honestly. This, I, I mean, they weren't revealing anything. Like, that's nothing that hasn't been shown, but also... Yeah, tell us, it's, tell it's us it's what the real parties are like. It's, yeah. an, it's an ode to Venetian culture back in the 1500s. Those are where the, all those masks come from because of Carnival. Where you would wear a mask and you could do debaucherous shit for like a month. Yeah. And nobody would know who you were. Literally worshiping pagan demonic gods. Canaanite gods. Yeah, but I'm saying like this has been a concept for, you know, centuries. Yeah, no, like- that's the point though. Of, of those, these are rituals that like the that the people who worship these satanic deities have been keeping alive for fucking thousands of years. It's like a, it's a tradition. That, that proves it, if anything. Yeah. I'm saying I'm saying he wasn't killed. Yeah, that's what you of, align with. Wasn't, he wasn't right? killed because Fine he made God. a movie. <laughs> if any if Jesus any cult, is coming. if any cult was gonna kill someone, it'd be on Tom Cruise's side. He's a Scientologist. He was at the time of that movie too. Someone uh someone said this to me the other day. It's like when it's on the news, it's been compromised. Mm-hmm. And I fully like it's it's crazy how like all these things are happening. There's a crazy viral video right now about like uncovering BLM mm-hmm. and how all the real founders of it all died. Mm-hmm. Really? Oh, I sent it to you. you oh, I did not the, see uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's creepy. It's Wait, a so then account? the current sp- the current founders that are like buying the mansion. They're all and fake. Shit that was, are, are the and, fake and they're founders. they're belie- they're showing that it's a psyop. Is that yeah. like the they were Soros push- family? What's up? Is that the Soros family? I don't. It? They don't mention the Soros's yeah. in it, but yeah. they 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 uncover all this. How the FBI was pushing the BLM, which was the manufactured one uh-huh. that was all about like for profit and ruined it and yeah. divided the black community. Yeah. Yeah. And all the original founders were all dead, all dead, Holy all died shit. in weird ways, like immediately after things. And like three or four of them all died the same way, shot in the head in a burning and then in a burn car. <laughs> and then oh one, of them, like, one of them, one of them, one of them was one of them was straight up like lynched. And the way that the knives were, they, they said it was suicide, but the ways the, the knots were tied, they're like, no one could tie a knot around themselves like yeah. that and put himself in that position. His mom said that, like, I think he's been lynched. And, like, he would it, never it, have killed it, couldn't, it couldn't have been suicide because his mental health was, like, perfect. perfect. Yeah. Uh, on that note, that, that was on a TikTok, right? Yeah. Yeah. I believe that same TikTok account released a, a video about being Africa being one of the most uh, prosperous countries. It's, like, very rich in, in the material that they have. Yep, it is. Um, and and a lot of the people, like, who are running, uh, I guess, Africa, like, presidents or, like, politicians that were, like, trying to boost itself, right? Like, uh, Africa being more, like, a, I guess, economically successful um, and not letting other industries, like, like what, what's, the, what's the gas company? The Shell, right? That's the name? They're Chevron, Shell, 76. Yeah, but they, they get in there usually because, like, they, they'll have someone already, lo- like, lobbied in, in their favor. Of course. And, you know, fucks up the the whole situation in Africa. But they talked about that. Anyone that was pro-Africa and then making sure that they were going to keep keep out any of the, the those, uh, those... Put Africa first. Like, anyone that was putting Africa yeah, first. Yeah, basically. Yeah. But, but, but here's where his profile... He makes a second video. I, I sent you both. He makes a second video where he talks about, like... There was one part of his first video that was incorrect, but not to the point where it was like someone just corrected him. And so he made a new video, but there was all these comments or there's a specific profile trying to tear him apart. And he was clearly showing that it was like a manufactured profile, like people coming in to turn people against him. And then he revealed, I forgot the name of the papers, but it's like, it's not like this isn't a conspiracy that the CIA and the government has gotten involved in political in, in political times of crisis to paint a narrative. Right, like, uh, what what was the one, the the famous one, um, where they were giving they were uh, giving people acid, uh, 
MK Ultra. MK Ultra. Oh, MK Ultra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like those things have all been proven, and it's like those societies are still alive today. Those organizations still exist, yep. and they and they still do shiesty things to like throw off the 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 public's yeah. perception. I mean, you can literally look up on the CIA website like shit that they did that they'll release that they did fifty years ago, and it's like crazy that the, on their website they will admit this to your face. CIA still exists today, and then you think that there's just like these huge. Poli- like <clears throat> publicized everywhere movements that they're not involved somehow. Do you think that we are as compromised as like a China? Uh, yeah, low key. I think China's more in your face about it and they'll do shit like just snatch you up off the street like broad yeah. daylight in front of everyone. But like America will do that like hush hush low key. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah. And the MK Ultra thing, there's like, so a lot of these like a theory because it's like, how do you prove this? Is the theory? Well, can you explain MK Ultra to them? Yeah. So, do you know what MK Ultra is? No. Do you know MK Ultra? So, MK Ultra is a is a is an operate like a, it's not even that secret. I think it's like uh, the that you can look these files up on their website. But they basically what they do is it's a, it was a brainwashing project where they would pump people full of acid because um, it puts your brain into like a, a certain state when you're on enough psychedelics that you are like easily convinced into like changing your whole personality. Like you can brainwash somebody very easily if you give them enough psychedelics. So they were testing this on people, like like brainwashing them into doing crazy things or like believing certain shit about themselves. And so there's a theory, a lot of these shooter, like these mass shooting events, people think are like people that were MK Ultra'd into like going into like creating a, a, a state of chaos basically so that the government can be like, look at what's happening. We need to do this, this and that. And then pass a bill with everyone just riled the fuck up that just has all these things behind it that people don't really look into because they're like, we need this, like we need X and blah, blah, blah. There's a huge pattern and you can find people put together videos. Every time there's like a huge fear headline or something big, the government is doing something behind the scenes. It's like, like clockwork, like they distract and then, or they create fear to then be able to pass. The MK Ultra is what led to the Manson murders too. Oh, what is Charles, Charles, Charles about Manson? That? What about that? I don't know about that. He's like one of the most famous, um, like murderers of cult all time, leaders. cult leaders. But Ooh. it was because he was being tested on for the MK Ultra project, and they re-released them, like you know, into the public. And then he started his whole campaign, and then went on to murder. Um, What's that guy's? Oh, I'll look at the family. The guy's the director's wife, uh, Sharon Tate. She was murdered by by uh, Manson's like cult girls. Wasn't that the movie? Basically, yeah. In, uh, Once, Once upon, upon a time in Hollywood. Yeah. Correct. Oh, yeah. that's what it's about, right? Manson murders. Uh, yeah, but what so much, but yeah, what, t- what Tarantino does is he creates a fake ending for historical figures and uh-huh. essentially that's what he did because in the movie Sharon Tate still lives but in reality she died while she was pregnant oh. um, Crazy. from that wait so these people are volu- volunteering no, to do no, this or are no, they no 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 I've, government will p- pick people that they think could go work against them you, they yoink them out of society yeah. and then they run these tests on the them the original idea I believe was to give to soldiers um, to use as like to fuck up their brain and make them even better killers. Almost. Yeah, to like turn you into a basically like a, a human weapon. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, but then they realized we can, oh, we can make you like believe something that would like, you know, like that would help. The reason the, the reason that it came to light because one of the CIA agents was being tested for it and he ended up committing suicide in a hotel. He jumped out the window oh and then God, it just goodness. shed light on the whole thing because he was part of the CIA. Yeah. Yeah. The C- so one of the like the the deep not the deepest level but what like the cornerstone of conspiracy is like who runs who really runs shit right mm. and then the the, the consensus is <laughs> strangely the CIA which is not that strange and then uh, NASA yeah NASA NASA NASA. Mm. NASA is fucking so like what 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 this is my theory that I've put together from a bunch of other theories is that um so uh their main objective is not searching space like they'll probably do that shit too right but they're but what they're really doing is taking ridiculous amounts of like drugs that we don't even have access to and exploring different dimensions through the gateway in our brains so it's like uh there was like this thing that was released about people trying to map the dmt world the Mm. dmt realm right and it's like similar shit like that like imagine like that we can go to a log cabin and experience like another dimension like we did like what the fucking government, what NASA can do with billions of dollars of funding. like, And especially if we know that we have experienced a new dimension, right? With just like a little bit of ayahuasca, 
what the fuck like you think that a gigantic organization that is like you know kind of like the what's the purpose of it like why was it also it was founded by a nazi it was founded by somebody that was brought over by uh during operation paperclip for those of you who don't know operation paperclip was after we won world war ii not the there's a reason why germany was while like washing the rest of europe they had the best scientists like the best military people right and they were kind of just like it's like can we give up this talent? Like, nah, like we're going to par pardon you for your war crimes and you're going to come work for our different countries. So they were like, mm. like, Britain was grabbing them up, France, America, like, you know what I mean? And we we're just bringing them through on like secret operations, literal Nazis that like played gigantic parts in the Holocaust and gave them huge positions in government and, and everything. So the guy that founded NASA was a literal Nazi brought over. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so then that's sus, right? The fact that it, it's low key, like the fucking plot of the Avengers of like how Hydra happen to infiltrate all parts of the U.S. government and shield and you don't realize it until like it's way too late and then you're like holy fuck we're fighting Hydra but we're Hydra mm. you know and then you don't realize that and then it was the end of World War II that kind of like and Operation Paperclip that started all that shit. Yeah. Trust no one. Yeah. Trust very, no. very very tough to trust people especially so then yeah NASA gets ridiculous amounts of government funding right to what to take pictures of the moon and shit you know like oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah like yeah. yeah. I mean, ideally, they would be able to, like, figure out, like, oh, fuck, guys, we're going to get hit with an asteroid in, like, a week. Like, maybe we should do something about this. But I, the, 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 the thought within the conspiracy community is, like, these people are exploring dimensions through drugs. Like, they're sending basically, like, a psychonaut. They're called a psychonaut, right, when you're a, a psychedelic explorer. So they're just pumping motherfuckers full of drugs and being like, go talk to somebody over there and what come do you, back. Yeah, but what do you think they're, like, learn? I guess you get, like, smarter. Not smart. I think that they're directly talking to deities out there that are telling them to do certain things, and we are making decisions based on that. It's kind of creepy. It's very creepy. Yeah. That's my take. Um, anyways, I like it. <laughs> Vitz, I think, he, I think he's in the other dimension. Shake him, quick. Are you okay? What yeah. happened? I don't even know oh, how we got to this topic. Me neither. Oh, Crazy. eyes wide shut. Slutty, eyes wide no, no, shut. no. Oh. You're saying slutty personal trainer. <laughs> 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 the soul patch. Uh, no soul patch. Please stop. <laughs> yeah. I'm not... Not even, I don't do that stuff. <laughs> I don't do that stuff, soul patch. <laughs> I don't what? align my values with a soul patch or a chin strap. Wait, what's the I can't even grow facial hair. Hey, it was just a joke, man. <laughs> no, it hurt me oh, personally. I'm sorry. Thank you. Wait, what? Uh, you guys drink hard seltzer? We do. Yeah, we do. But most of them are gross. We are. True. We got that weird aftertaste. Yeah. Ours is very, very clean Asian flavors, which no one's doing. Oh, okay. Yeah. First one, Asian pear. Did you say Asian hair? Asian pear. Oh. Okay. I got Asian hair. I was going to say, I'm like... <laughs> wow, that's really actually good. Really good. You like it? I'm really picky. Really? What do you I normally like drink? This one's lychee. I used to drink the fruit punch trulies, and then eventually I was like, okay, they're gross. Got over yeah. It. yeah. There you go. I'm sure you hear the pear is really good. Pear and lychee are top two by yeah. far. Well, I appreciate you guys trying. It was really good. Actually, yeah. we, will take, we will take this. Hey, you'll take a box? Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. Uh, do you mind if I use your reactions? No, I don't mind. Great. I would have been gayer if I was just like... <laughs> oh, is it on? <laughs> It was so good. <laughs> What's the difference between healthy jealousy and unhealthy jealousy? <laughs> what the fuck? From was the fucking that? NASA running the world to unhealthy jealousy. <laughs> what? <laughs> the worst ruining transition. the transitions. You guys ruin him because every time I say it, we can just answer the question. He's like, what the fuck? Like, like just like, yeah, because you ruined on. his last transition. That shit was money. And Thank you. Thank you. Was, this, this was just no effort. Hey, Who cares? Hey, hey. <laughs> We're trying to move on. Low key. I mean, there's no... How the fuck you transition from the CIA to, exactly. to what we're talking so about? Exactly, so answer the goddamn question. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I'll hey, tell don't, you how. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. In front of I'm me. <laughs> Stop doing that, dude. Hmm. Are you jealous? Huh? Yeah, are you guys a jealous person? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. But yeah. in the healthy way. Oh, okay. No. So what is, that, yeah, so what is the healthy the way? There you go. <laughs> you saw how I set that up? It was like Shaq and Kobe. It was like... You ruined it again. It's not ruining it, man. It's my thing. <laughs> what is healthy jealousy? Hmm. I think healthy jealousy is like... It makes both... It makes uh, the other person feel good? Actually, you know what? I think the word jealousy in, it, in and of itself is not a healthy thing. So if it is by definition jealousy, I don't think it's actually healthy. Yeah, I think that if it's quote-unquote healthy jealousy, it's... Your, more it's, like it's possessiveness. So it's inspired. That's more inspiration. Oh, you inspired me. That's healthy jealousy. It's not healthy jealousy. No, we're talking about like what? relationship, no? Yeah, yeah, we're uh, talking about relationships. Yeah, I know. But like, let's say you're like, what is healthy jealousy? It's like, that's not, there's no such thing as a healthy jealousy. But if there was some form of that, 
it would be admiration or inspiration. I know what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah. No, I, get, I get what you're trying to say too, but it does. I don't think it connects in this in the relationship. Not in the sense. relationship. It's yeah. more like a some some other person. Like you're I, jealous of this girl. Like yeah, yeah. I'm so you want of, to I'm admire and take some of their better attributes for yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. see what you mean. Yeah. But in in your in the in the context of the question, I think that it's not. It can't be considered jealousy if it's healthy because I think in the way that we're looking at it, maybe it's like your possessiveness is out of like worry for them or like it's for their benefit rather than um, and then like real jealousy is like you're like worried about like, I don't know, jealousy is like what envying something someone else has. So how can Jamie, it like definition? Definition of jealousy. Say it again. <laughs> Official definition of jealousy, please, Mr. Eddie. Sir. Yo, yo, yo. I love when Brando just like starts clowning on someone because he starts laughing. <laughs> you never really know what'll make Brando laugh either. <laughs> it's like a it's like a roulette. Like, yeah. <laughs> Eddie's about to tell us. You guys hear a very loud bass? Or am I tripping? Yeah. I, I fucking heard that. What the fuck it's is the AC. That? No, the bass, dude. It's like I thought, we, the, AC. That's the, AC. I thought the AC's no. shaking the building. No. No, no. This, you don't Shake hear this bass? No, no. It's doom, doom, doom. Yeah. Someone's playing music. Give us a definition. Hey, don't yell at me, man. Shut up, little boy. I'm going to cut this camera. Yo, right. Yeah, you take it forever to look up a definition, yeah. man. Shut up, little boy. All right. Feeling or showing envy. <laughs> we, need a, of... we need a new... Guys, hey, we're looking for a new camera, man. Hey, you, <laughs> you feel me? Bad... Also, first of all, I don't do anything with the cameras. I do audio. Hey, we're looking for a new audio guy. Hey, imagine, hey, imagine if Jamie on Joe Rogan's like, shut up, little boy. <laughs> 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 And Joe is just like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you, you ready to listen? What's up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's so sassy. Uh, feeling or showing envy of someone or, or their achievement and advantages. Yeah. Mm, so like by envy, definition, envy. there's no healthy version, I think. I think it's just based off timing because uh, boundaries can be set through jealousy, you know? And mm. if, it's not a, if it's not like a crazy amount, you could say like, hey, that, that gesture, that act towards somebody... I felt a little jealousy, so now we know where this line is. Yeah, don't is. do that again. Wait. Otherwise, I'm leaving you. S slight change when it comes to relationships is a different uh, definition for your relationship. Really? Slightly, slightly. It's the feeling or showing suspicion of someone unfaithfulness in a relationship. Mm. So that's a tad bit different. Oh. It's a tad bit different when it comes to relationships. So there is no healthy version. That's like, yeah, I'm, no sus I'm by, by definition, by yeah, yeah, by definition, there's no healthy. Okay. I think what we're thinking is like possessiveness. Possessiveness? Like, yeah, okay. yeah, like, like... Or yeah, like like uh, for example, like I don't know, like hey, maybe you shouldn't wear that out, or oh. like don't hang out with that guy mm. because it's like, but it's like it maybe is because like maybe you're blinded by your friendship with this guy, and then you're like, but I see him for what he really is, and he's trying to fuck my girl, mm. you know? So it's like, yeah. wait, what dirty. about mm, maybe I guess this is envy, but like if somebody has ordered a dish that you want to eat and you're eating something else and you're like damn i want that that's jealousy i guess yeah or is that envy because that's, that's envy isn't it they're I mean, like synonyms jealousy, yeah yeah the, jealousy and envy it's a synonym the definition envy was in the definition. desire i desire you hmm. so i guess we why answered you, that why question you different what the fuck don't touch me isn't no. envy considered a sin yeah yes. jealousy is a big sin jealousy yeah. is, is that it's one of the, the seven the, deadly sins one of the seven deadly oh. You should watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and you'll get caught up on all the deadly sins. <laughs> I guess there's no such thing as healthy jealousy, but it could be like cute. Cute jealousy. And annoying jealousy. Yeah, jealousy, jealousy. can be cute. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Yeah. It's, it's attractive to know that somebody is... Nah, maybe not. I, I mean, Vid makes a cute. He's like, I'll shoot the whole club up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. She's cute. That she's means something like, different, though. She's like, oh, you'd kill everyone for shoot me? Shoot the club oh. up means something different. Uh -huh. Shoot the club up is a phrase that means something different. What does that mean? Oh, it also means busting. Bust no, inside. no, no, unprotected. I've never heard it. Yes, no, I've never right ever now. heard it. In you that don't know that? Yeah, that's, that's an old saying. Yeah. That's a very old saying. Yeah, yeah back we, in well, back in our day, yeah, I was about to say maybe you old heads. Yeah. You use slang but from us, the eighties. Us, us youngins. Are <laughs> Don't, don't do that. I want to be 19 so bad. I've, like, I've claimed my place over here. Yeah, just like, me and my bra. <laughs> <laughs> me and my bra. Whoa. <laughs> this is an impromptu whoa. <laughs> Dab it up. Where's my vape? <laughs> hit it. If you're really serious, hit it. No, I can't do it. <laughs> I've never, I've never, I've seen never you... vaped in my life. Oh, really? Ever in my I've life. I've never yeah. seen you hit Would a vape. Would it be similar to a cigarette? Would it make you cough like that? I, if I hit like a big cloud, I think I would cough. Od, hit it. I've hit a weed vape. I was the one, the first time I ever hit a vape. I got nicotine sick. 
I got a headache and I passed out. <laughs> <laughs> This is when I was like 15. I remember it vividly. It's a bit like story. Yeah. Like it always looks so delicious. The vape? Yeah, it, it looks does like not look delicious. It delicious. Yeah. Inhaling chemicals instead of air, dude. I love air. I'm a big oxygen guy. I just can't wait till <laughs> they make healthy vapes. Yeah. I'm vaping all day. Oh, no healthy vapes. B12. Are really crazy. B12 pens. Yeah, they, they're gonna I make like to, other shit to, like magnesium. Yeah, but I need I need I need time to extend to make sure there's no side effects. Yeah, I need like you to experiment for a while or just live. I man. had a B12 pen <laughs> yeah, for maybe like just a breathe week. Breathe air, dude. Yeah, breathe air. Sure. <laughs> no, he was saying just live your life, YOLO. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're Yolo. saying the opposite he, way. Yeah, he was yeah, saying yeah. Hit, he was saying hit the vape. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really take that many years off you, so it might yeah. not do dude, it. Dude, there's a there's actually a study, um, a nootropic study about nicotine being uh, extremely beneficial for brain function. No, yeah, no, by, by fucking Marlboro. No, 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 <laughs> nicotine has always been good for your brain. Yeah. It's the other shit that's it's exactly. It's it. not like it's like no one is only inhaling nicotine. That's the thing. And nicotine is addicting, so you may. I'd rather be it. smart good, than healthy. <laughs> I'm just yeah. putting it out that's there. That's why he smokes. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's why, why he's so smart. That's why yeah. I have so many quotes. Oh, yeah. I've, have you noticed that every time Vit mixes up a sentence, he just hits the vape right afterwards? Oh. He's like, I gotta get my superpower back. <laughs> oh, no, and then he's just completely my articulate brain cells again. Have depleted. Oh no, not all the kids like yeah. No, but yeah, don't vaping. that's don't don't take that as like I should start vaping because the vapes have other shit in it that's gonna definitely oh, yeah, give no, you guys no. cancer. If you are a kid watching this, first of all, you should not. Vape. But what? Watch this? Yeah. Don't say that. No, uh, no he's we, saying we not vape. Oh, yeah. No, he's saying don't watch us. I was definitely saying don't watch us. Oh. Yeah. Could you imagine if an eight-year-old kid listened There's to us? There's no yeah, reason for an yeah, eight-year-old we mark, kid. Yeah, we mark not for kids. Yeah, That's yeah, what I'm saying. YouTube is very That's what good. I was saying. Yeah. So we're agreeing. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay. I just also, meant like 14. You could watch this if you're 14. Don't vape. Great. That's it. Are we a rated there, R podcast? Hey, there was a crazy, there's a crazy, no. so yeah. cigarette companies, even though cigarettes are going down, they're the most profitable businesses, like one of the most profitable businesses on earth. And they have like, they're flush with cash. I forgot what, what's the biggest one, Philip Morris. And basically, uh, they are experts in the mouth and lung because they know how their product affects humans. They're dumping all that extra ca cash to doing research into all that healthy vape. Soon, if you have a headache, instead of taking an aspirin, the most potent way for you to, to absorb anything is through your lungs. Like, if you smoke a cigarette, you feel it immediately. So they're already funding the cure for their problem. Mm. So they're creating the problem, and then they're curing it, and they're just going to stay rich forever. It's pretty dark, but... Scumbag demons. Yeah. Um, wait, so back to the jealousy thing. Is there... Uh, I mean, all je jealousy is unhealthy to me. Yeah, I don't think there's, there's ever a form of healthy yeah, jealousy. Yeah, I was about to say, I think jealousy in of itself is... It comes from, like, something lacking, yeah. too. Like, maybe your part, like, the reason why, if you felt completely secure with your partner, like, certain things they do might not make you jealous, as opposed to a partner that doesn't make you feel fully secure, you might become more jealous. Yeah, or trauma. Or tra Yeah, past trauma. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big no-no, though, like, of letting your past traumas affect your current relationship because it's just, like... Well, you don't want it to, and you uh -huh. it's obviously not right, but then you can't... Sometimes you can't help it. Yeah, it's you can't hard. help it, but you can work on it. Yeah, like, you can work on it and, yeah. yeah, try to correct yourself. No one's saying yourself. be perfect off the rip, but, like, yeah. when you... I, most people, I feel like when they say that shit, it's, like, an excuse. It's, like, well, well, you know, somebody did this to me, and now I can't just... I have to be this way. It's like, you don't have to be this way. You can treat me with a new... With a fresh set of rules because I've done nothing to you. Takes and, time. And yeah. It takes time. Yeah. It takes a lot of ayahuasca. Yes. Probably. No. <laughs> yeah, maybe we shouldn't say that actually. Yeah, take that back. I take that back. Uh, I want to ask this question because I want to know for all of you. When was the time in your life that you made the most change? Like that you made the most progress in your life? Oh, you guys know mine. The accident. Yeah. You were kind of forced into it. Yep. I mean, mm, that, that yeah. happens mm. for people. Yeah. Yeah. So yours was the accident. Mm hmm I would say mine was when I left college and I had to like just figure out a real career. All, oh, by the way, positive progress. So for you, it's still that accident, right? Yeah, it's still positive. Because it yeah. affected you positively long yeah. run. Yeah, yeah, that was for me as well. Uh, leaving when college. I, yeah, leaving college and trying to get a real job. As in graduating, right? You graduated. Right? I graduated early to pursue a uh, career in music. Uh -huh. And then that just like, I had to figure it out. And uh, what was it again? Anthropology? Yeah, I was, I'm an anthropologist. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know how I got my major? Yeah, we know. You told oh. us a story. Oh, well, yeah, he fell asleep, so he didn't hear. Really? Yeah. No, I, I thought actually, you told I it on a different episode. Oh, you don't know? Okay, I don't say, say. know. Oh, so I go to college. Well, so first I went to community college. Then I went. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Wait, he continue. fell asleep again? Yeah. He fell asleep again? Yawning. Beat his ass. You do that on purpose? Yeah, it was okay. a joke. Yeah. Uh, that was so funny. 
So uh, I, I finally get <laughs> into <laughs> hello offended. I don't blame him for getting offended. But. So I go. I, I finally get Just into. Teasing. Uh, I finally get into regular college, uh-huh. and I get in for econ, and I'm terrible. I can't. I I I'm terrible at math. Mm-hmm. Take the first class. I'm like I can't do this. So I go to the counselor and I say, hey. Uh, give me a major that doesn't like I can't like that doesn't require math. And she's like, your two options are uh, communications, global studies, and anthropology. Three options are communications, <laughs> global studies, and anthropology. Damn, you could have done communications. So hold up, he, hold you up. Know, he's just flexing the fact that he's really bad at math. Hold <laughs> up, listen, the- listen. Numbers. I take the communications class, and because everybody's trying to get into it, you need a B average. And there's three classes you have to take, and you need to get a B average in all three of them. I get a B minus in one of them. I'm on my hands and knees begging the teacher to just bump me up to a B so I get into the major. She says no. So I go back to the counselor. I'm like, all right, what are my options? She's like, you can be global studies or you could be anthropology. And she's like, but at global studies, you need to take six quarters of a language. And I said, all right, I'm an anthropologist. <laughs> what is anthropology? I don't remember. It's like the study of humans or some shit. Yeah, there's like oh, really? two versions. The there's like cultural anthropology, and then there's like biological anthropology. But you're the cultural one, weren't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That kind of look. I, for some reason, I feel like anthropologists would wear a hat like this. Mm. Yeah, like studying That's dinosaur archaeology. bones. Archaeology. That's archaeology. Yeah, you guys, there you go. but anthropology there does study like they'll study human dinosaur bones and shit. Yeah. yeah, dinosaur bones, things like that. Um. Yeah. So okay. So for you leaving college, why? Because you were like, I got to make this work. I got to make money. Yeah, yeah. I, I had to like. And you were like doing what, like figuring out hella like self like improvement shit? You literally had, I had to figure out how to get a job. I had to figure out how to operate in a business. I had to figure out what the music industry was. Like, So you were learning a lot of things. Learning, just trying, teaching myself, figuring shit out. Like I literally moved to LA, knew nobody. And at Mm. first what I would do is I would go to my uh, favorite artist's Facebook and I would see that all of them in their bio had agent or a manager. And so I was like, okay, like who are these people? And- their, their emails were there with uh, URLs. So it'd be like Bob at WME Entertainment, Larry at AM Only. So I'd go to those websites and I'd see all my favorite listed, but I didn't know what it was. So I was like, okay, I got to work for one of these companies. So I would just cold email all these people. None of it worked. So then I realized, I was like, okay, even with a college degree and even with my shitty ass emails, I'm not going to get a job. So I need to work for free for somebody. Mm-hmm. So then I started looking at internships, but I couldn't get an internship because I was out of college and that's how they finesse you. Mm-hmm. They say, hey, you could work for us for, for free. college credit. Yeah, we could avoid labor laws yeah. by giving you college credit. Uh, so I couldn't even do that until one person gave me the job and that's how I got my first foot in the door. Nice. And at the same time though, I needed money. So I was also working at a gym uh-huh. and at the gym, the reason why my friend from high school happened to be working at this gym and it was Equinox at the bottom of Beverly Hills. So, uh, uh, Entourage, you know that TV show? Yeah. That's a real building. At the bottom of it is the gym, and I knew all these music agents Love would be Entourage. working there. So I was like, if I work at the front desk, I'm going to meet someone. And that's how I eventually got my that's job. That's where I need to work out. Yeah. 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 I knew all this, man. I remember this. Oh, nice. That was before you fell asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like, nice. I thought it was a dream. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, that experience just forced me to figure out everything and then it forced me out of network and then when I finally met the right person that was like grad school into business and I and just it, the one person just started sky like I started learning Jake, right? yeah and yeah. I was just like everybody around me in that company was like super smart in their own right yeah I've, I've learned from all the people you've introduced me to that you're like yeah this person is the genius like this and you you met them at the same company yep but it's funny to me in your story that it's like once you left school you start learning a hundred percent like it's that's I, th- I think that's ironic and that's when i really enjoyed it too like yeah. all the other questions before it was so easy for me to cut people out because i was like so excited by by like, changing yeah same way same what about you mm, 17 17 yeah what, why and what was the changes was like, the summer before senior year, I just got my heart broken. <laughs> yeah. So. But, uh, well, okay, so then heartbreak, and then how did you change? Like, how did it make you In better? Uh, I got, I basically became who I am today. I just got way more confident. Um, because you were heartbroken? Yeah. Is that was, because you were more, heartbroken, and then you were out, like, talking to others, like, trying to, like, get a rebound? Or, like, that, but it was, it, was, it was more than just trying to pick up girls. It was, like, I didn't like the way I walked. I didn't like how Mika... <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm just imagining you watching. <laughs> no, I used, to, I used to walk with a... I mean, I still have a slouch, but it used to be really bad. Uh, uh, I used to be way more meek. Uh, good word. Just very, like, very quiet, very subdued. Let's bring that bit back. Good word. <laughs> <laughs> This podcast would fail. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, yeah, never mind. So 17, I literally, because I didn't have like a good, I didn't have like a, a father figure, like a good father figure or like an older brother or like friends I could learn from because I couldn't even hang out with friends. 
what I did was I looked up articles. Literally, like this is how I changed as a person. I looked up articles on how to, how to walk straighter, how to speak with more confidence. I manufactured who I am today. Fake it till you make it, and baby. Literally, it's fake it till you make it. I, I learned as much as I could from those articles. And then every I made it a point to every day you wake up yeah. or every day I woke up, I looked in the mirror and I basically just said, like, you're the shit. And I said this in my interview. Yeah, That's why I think, like, college is very special because, or, like, also post-college because you can literally manufacture who you are. Like, that's your ch- yes. chance to, like, be a new person to a new set of people. Yep. If you join a new job, like, that's your opportunity. Yep. That's what people don't real they, people don't jump on those opportunities. Like people get stuck in who they think they're supposed to be, which is like and, and all that and that's mainly your high school identity, which is almost always born out of insecurity. Like you're like, oh, worried about what other people are thinking of me. I'm not cool enough. I'm not this enough. And then for me, like that was a big change as well. College, I wouldn't say it was my biggest, but going to college, like you know, made me almost like a completely new person. And then, uh, but like it was because, like you said, a whole new set of people. And, and the younger people that watch this, you should really take advantage of that. Not in like a be, become fake kind of way, but like upgrade, evolve into the person that you think evolve. you want to be. Yeah. You know what sucks? What? I spent all this time evolving into this and you guys ha- clown me all day long. We love this, you. This it's is what I enough. manufactured myself to be. Yeah, it's, it's a little fake. corny, but it's cute, <laughs> you know? It's very cute. Yeah. God, I want yeah. you so bad. I'm joking. I was, I was joking. Oh. She oh. Make sure. I know. And then I love we just my start st- really like making fun of. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, you corny as hell. Yeah, yeah, I love myself. <laughs> Good. Uh, for me, for me, it was uh, the pandemic. I think, like, uh, mm-hmm. and it was, what was weird was that around then was when I launched Bar Chemistry, the products. Right, I was like at four thousand Instagram followers, but I was following like three thousand people. Like a lot of it was just follow. Like I was doing every like trying to game Instagram's algorithm in any way possible. Like follow, follow, unfollow. Like doing every little trick I could, posting all the time but nothing was working. So I was like, fuck, like I cannot work to make money. Like I can't work as much as I do like at the bar bartending and also fucking have time to figure out how to make this work. And I was like, my products are like just about to go live on the website, like, which is all my money. That's my life savings in there, right? And I was like, fuck, like what, like, what do I do? I wish I could just take a month off of work and don't not leave my crib, make vi- like nine videos a day, I wish. And then I heard about coronavirus. And I was like, and then <laughs> I did like, I, please. No, no. And I was like, there's no way that, like, I mean, I'm like, none of us have experienced a lockdown before. So I was like, there's no way that God is just going to hand me exactly what I asked for. <laughs> there's no way. I was like, that's, that's way too movie-esque. Like, I'm like, that's not going to happen. So the pandemic was all because of you? Yeah, because I prayed for it every, no. It was like a <laughs> rain dance. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, bring it down, bring it down. No, no, no. But I was like. I, I wasn't even paying attention to the coronavirus shit until it was like really serious, right? Where like people were shutting down, like restaurants were closing in areas of the city. And then so I, I remember I was at work one day and everyone was talking about it and, it. and it was like, this might be our last day at work. Like it's where it's depending on like something that the governor says that they were he was going to release in a press conference that day. And I remember sitting there and being like, if this happens, I'm going to be a fucking Uncle Iroh in jail. Like, I'm not talking to nobody. I'm going to be in my house all day, every day. I'm waking up at 6 a.m. I'm fucking making videos till my eyes close, like, involuntarily. And then it fucking did happen. And I remember, like, everyone at work was, like, freaking out. They're like, we're going to lose our jobs. We got to call an employment, all this. And I was just, like, excited to get home. So then I went home, spent all my money on alcohol to make videos with. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and, but, bro, in, during this time period, and which, why I'm saying I changed the most during this time period is because... Like, I would wake up early. I would spend the first part of my day working out. I would fast once a week, 36 hours. Like, literally not eat all day. Like, the next day, half the next day and shit. And, um, and like, cold showers. Like, I was watching, like, Gary Vee, like, on a loop. Like, I was, like, brainwashing myself. <laughs> and, then, um, and then I would fucking make and edit, like, literally, like, six to nine videos every day. I would take pictures of the cocktail myself. Like, you know, like, I had wow. a corner of my room set up with, like, a background where I could make the cocktail on video, then bring it over here, and then take a picture on my camera. And I'm sitting there editing it all. And then that made me, like, doing that for, like, a month straight, like, I literally got everything I ever wanted from that month. And then I was wow. like, and then it felt like I unlocked a superpower. I was like, holy shit. Like I can literally just decide to do things and make anything happen that I want. And then, and also that was like, like I saw like, I made money for the first time in my life. Like I was a bartender before making like maybe a thousand dollars a week, but like good money for a job. But then you make money as a business and you're like, holy fuck, I made 40 grand this month. And you're like, what the fuck? It's that, it's that line. It's like, it takes five years to make an overnight star. Yes. Yeah. So long- what were you oh, saying? Okay. 
Continue. Oh, I thought you were done. My fault. No, I'm done. Oh. oh. How long That's did a great take- line, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> How long did it take for you to uh, blow up? About a month, I'd say. A month? Yeah, I was posting three videos a day without really any of them getting any traction. Like, I had one hit, like, 50K, and I remember I was, like, ecstatic. Mm. And then I learned from that. I was like, okay, this is what people like. Like, this worked. Like, this little joke I threw in the beginning, which, like, I felt like even recording it, I was like, this is kind of corny, but, like, I'm going to just try. Like, I'm not You're a little to- corny. I'm not- That's bring, my bring, That's bring, my- that, bring that old video up. I, it's so far back. But well, like, I'm going to go on your TikTok and just... Yeah, just scroll to the bottom and look for it. But now it's it's hard to see because all after I blew up, all the videos started getting like up in views, right? Mm. But yeah, and then I remember uh, it was the whipped coffee trend where I was like, oh, I'm going to turn this into a cocktail. And then I made that video and that shit blew up. And then I was like watching my followers go... Like I had my friends texting me like, holy shit, dude. Like, wow. Yeah, like it was like literally it was such a dramatic moment, especially because I drank the whole cocktail, which was the whipped coffee is super concentrated. I was having like a panic attack from the, from the caffeine while also blowing up on social media. And I was just like, I was talking to my brother and Joe and I'm like, guys, I can't breathe right now. <laughs> I think I'm going to die. Something you said was like even the the maniacalness of following 4,000 people to get three and 3,000 people or whatever it is. Yeah. It's like I did like for me to get my first inter- first internship, I emailed 70 people trying to get a real job that didn't work. And then I emailed probably 100 plus people to try to get an internship. And that landed me one, two meetings, one internship. And then that that didn't even lead to my next really thing. What it taught me was I, I then finally got a better scope of the music landscape and what I wanted to do. Mm. And that, which then led me to like, you know, be able to converse better with people so that if I came across the right person, I'd be able to have a better conversation than like, how do I get a job? Or like, what's the music? I'll work for you for free. Ex- that's what I was saying in the beginning. Yeah. I literally have emails that say, I'll sweep your floor. <laughs> like stupid ass shit. Please, yeah, anything. But, but I'm saying like, that is the level of effort. Like someone who's listening to this and, and they're like, yo, how do I make drastic change in my life? You just have to like, do shit that's probably not like gonna lead to a dead end, but it's gonna teach you something. You gotta be down to fucking do what like what we were just saying and expect nothing to happen. Because if you're expecting that to result in a big blow up, then what I was expecting from that was like s- some more, f- some maybe some sales, like maybe some people would. If I could get ten thousand views on one video, then like maybe ten people will like the shakers I'm using and they'll buy it. And then what what happened was I fucking went crazy. And I was I sold out faster than I could reorder them. You know what I mean? I was sold out for literally half the year of, of my shakers. There are some people like these two though. They're just naturally good at social media. Yeah, it's just like a I'm different not language. good. Yeah, you are. The yeah. Aloe video. For the amount the, of effort you guys put in, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Let's like, be realistic. You had like, to make seven <laughs> videos a day. Yeah, I made a lot of. Hey, wait a minute. I'm naturally good at. <laughs> you had to build to that. Come on, man. Yeah, no, no, no. I did, I did. But no, I agree. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I had to, I had to grind to learn what, what the fuck. But I, even then, if, it, but so, so that's the thing. If you have a natural ability for it, and then if you studied it, if you spent half the time that he did, you'd probably be further, in a sense, because mm-hmm. it's like, oh, like or at you least know, you'd you be know way the, further. Yeah, you know in the your science, own you know the science behind it. And like, it's, it's just like that. Like, if you look at the literal number of videos I've made and posted in my life, it's like thousands, right? So it's like I have the experience of somebody who's made a th- like thousands of videos versus like somebody who maybe post once a week and they've made a hundred in their life. You know? It's just, it's always the compound effect. It's just like effort over time and you're just better. Like, Oh, there's a really great story about Kobe Bryant. And basically it's like when he first started and got into the NBA, this was like the Olympic team. Um, you know, this is all the best players in the NBA and he's obviously on the Olympic team and he would do great. But what he did was while everybody was doing like the two sanctioned practice and the weightlifting, Kobe was shooting before and then after the third practice was done, he was practicing even again and sometimes even a sixth practice of some type. So first summer, like he's equal to everybody. Second summer, he's getting better. Third, but by the fourth summer, the fifth summer, he was so far ahead of everybody. They're just like, what happened to this guy? And it's just because like over time, he just had those two extra practices every single day. So, yep. What about negatively? What do you mean? Be- going back to the original question. Oh, of like uh, when your life changed for the, when the your worst? life changed drastically. When you, when you for, changed. When your life. When did your life change the most negatively? Yeah, or uh, you as a person, or you as a person. Mm. Oh, that's a hard. I don't know if I've ever. I actually don't I'm think perfect. about stuff like that. I think for me. <laughs> It was like a slow, it was a slow, well, so there's negative things that happen to me, right? Where if I, you know, I got a drunk in public or whatever it is, those things. But 
I think that when I realized I had to make a drastic change in my like personality, it like built up over time, right? So like all the things that I'm talking about, uh, how hard I worked and like how maniacal I was to try to go after my dreams or whatever, I started developing like false sense of confidence or I built my ego in an incorrect way Mm -hmm. that made me impatient with people or it, I became like very anxiety ridden if things didn't. Why'd you laugh when I was? I was thinking about something funny. Oh, what was it? Um, this it, it's, it better be funny. It, it was uh, this like one time I like shit my pants. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait, no. did you talk about that? Oh, me almost. Oh, oh me God. almost. Me almost joining the shit your pants club. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah by yeah. the way, I never shit my pants. I I made that up. Yeah. So you lied? No, no. I'm just. I don't want everyone to know that. I just never shit my pants. So man. you have shit your pants and you're embarrassed? No, I've never shit my pants. Don't be before. shy. You I'm shit not, your pants. So why were you laughing? I mean, maybe as a child I have. But why would me like talking about like a the worst time in my life make you laugh? I don't get it. You weren't paying attention. You, I was yeah. paying attention. I was paying attention. I was paying so close attention. I was paying attention too. I was paying. Anyways. I was paying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was flash. <laughs> No, Sometimes yeah, I feel like you're not being honest with me, and it and it worries me. I would me. never lie to you, Jeremy. But I think that your susness in me is making you accuse me of things that I would never do, and I don't like that in my partner. So please That's fix that about jealousy. yourself. Wait, you would never lie to me. Yeah, please fix that about yourself. It's kind of crazy you would treat me like that after all we've been through. Just know we have hot mics and a video recording. Well, we can, Last we could, time. So what? You're going to believe the video or me? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> That's so true. You know, technology fucks up all the time, Well, man. last time, last time when we looked back at the video, she was making a face they, at me. They, they stitched it like that to make it look like that. For real? Why, why are we always getting blamed? Yeah. Oh. Your paranoia is tearing us apart. So that was edited? I think we should just move yes, past this. Dude, and that was edited. And we'll be all right. Oh, f- I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. You. We anyways, forgive yeah. you. We forgive you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, but honestly, yeah, yeah. Back Continue on with the story. Oh, that was the end of my story. But no, you were done. You? No, I was saying that like what I thought was like got me somewhere. I ended up with all these bad habits and these bad personality traits. Mm. I thought of I thought of an answer for you for for my life. Uh, when I went to college and I was just partying and fucking, mm. I was doing a lot of low vibrational activities, and my mind was very focused on low vibrational activities. I stopped mm. going to church. I didn't have anything to do with developing my spirit at all, or even developing myself as a person. It was like. What girl am I going to hook up with this weekend? How, like, how am I going to afford alcohol with no job? Like, you know, like that was my brain at the time. And oh, and then I didn't really, like it, it took psychedelics and some good friends of mine pointing out certain personality traits that I had developed that to realize like, oh shit, I'm becoming a person I don't like. And that made me drop out of school. Because I was like, I cannot, because I was like, oh, I'll just not go out. And I tried to not go out one weekend and it was like, I was, I lived in the frat house. Like my friends literally came in and like fucking dragged me physically out of that room. And it was like, okay, there's no way I can actually live a life here and not go out anywhere. That's a super, it kind of goes back to the very first thing is like creating your environment. Yes. It's like you, you could want to change, but if you're hanging out with the same people around, like it's tough. Yeah. You True. put yourself into the same place every day. How can you expect to act any different? You know? Yeah. You have one? Oh, mine is the same. Mine was, it changed me for a, to Negatively? be positive oh, yeah. and negative. Yeah. yeah, like it made you negative and then positive, or like yeah. I mean, I still deal with the consequences of uh-huh. the the accident, you know. Yeah. And I, in that way, it's negative. Oh, well, also, like I mean, when I was going through that and I was in a lot of debt, I actually had, I did ended up doing a lot of illegal things to make money. Mm. And now that mentality of like fast money is like engraved in mm-hmm. my head, uh-huh. and I, and that is something that is very negative. That you don't like. Because, uh, yeah, because, like, if is... someone someone could be like, oh, I'm offering you uh, $60 an hour to do this. I'll be like, that's it. Yeah, like, that's yeah. nothing. Yeah, and, and which which is so bad because it's just like, dude, like, $60 an hour, people would good. love to have that, you know? But for mm. me, I'm just like, dude, I, I, I was making, like, 10 grand a day. It's like, dude, like… <laughs> you flip a brick, exactly. Yeah. And, and that's, that's the problem. That's why my work ethic is shitty. And I think… That was the negative part. Very big, very yeah. big true. <laughs> very, very big true. Mine was a uh, house arrest. It just turned me into a fucking recluse. <laughs> the reason I don't leave my house now is literally because of house arrest. Because you're so arrest. comfortable being alone in your yeah. crib all the time. Because before that, I used, I used, I could not sit in the crib. Mm-hmm. If I like, if there was a day where I just had to be by myself, 
and just like not talk to anybody. Uh-huh. I hated it. But is that a negative thing? Is that the only negative thing? Because I think if that's the only negative thing, I don't think that's too negative. I think maybe you use it negatively. Is it too uh, like, extreme? That's true. Like, is, if you sat in your crib extreme. and just fucking made videos all, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. if you were productive in your crib, mm. that'd be yeah, different. No, I just sit and sulk. <laughs> <laughs> he, I, I, he like gets into scenarios where he's like, now I have something to sulk about. Can't wait to get home. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that that I think was negative was getting into weed. Really? We, we made me so lazy and not wanting to do anything. I was smoking it like all day, every day. I want to say that. Skipping community college. I almost failed out of community college. Wow, you're special. Yeah. That's oh, different. Built different. That's hella different. <laughs> hey, what time is he supposed to come? Uh, oh, yeah, he should six? be here soon. Oh, six. Six? Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. We have time God. to eat. <laughs> I'm hungry. I brought meal prep for me. Oh, for yourself. You could have one. I brought an extra one. <laughs> Ha! Huh. I was prepared for you this time. If you guys want food, you guys should order something now, so that we, we can... should. Okay. What was the, yeah, what was the subject? Order... Though, what do you before... want to change uh, about yourself? No, no, no. We were saying what was the negative thing. Oh, the negative thing. Yeah, what you, was physically. that your transition? Physically. You better not ever roast me about no transition, no, boy. I'm trying to get you guys off texting because now the show's done. As soon as you pull out your phone, so yeah. Hey, no more texting, guys. Guys, put your phones away. He's watching you text. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what a snitch. What a snitch. What? No, I don't know. Anyways. I don't know what just happened. Uh, well, Brenda brought up the good good question. What would you change about yourself if you could change anything? Uh, physically or mentally? I mean, I guess what Both. comes to mind first. Okay. Yeah. Mentally, uh, my work habits, mm. laziness. I, I'm not very, uh, what is that? What, what am I not? Consistent? Consistent, yes. I'm very inconsistent. Mm. Mm-hmm. Big true. Big true. What about you? Probably smaller dick. <laughs> having this, having this Less m- muscles. Yeah, having this meat swinging between my <laughs> legs is true. a burden. Uh, yeah. Actually. BPD. Uh, huh? Big, big, big penis disorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're trying to make inside jokes and you for, you missing on them. <laughs> is that huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. No, that's that's true. I wish I wasn't this like pretty. <laughs> oh, do you want you want a real one? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> um, <is that? laughs> um 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 the real one is definitely I can be more patient with people because I'm so smart and I'm like so many steps ahead of them. It's like, keep up. <laughs> so it makes me impatient. My okay. bad. Mine was also going to be impatience. I feel like I'm definitely- We're, the, we're similar. Yeah, we're, we have the same personality type. Except I'm assertive and you're turbulent, which means I'm better than you. <laughs> that, it doesn't say that in it the literally, thing. Literally, bro. It, 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 it does, it pull it up and say, read it. It no, does not say. Pull it up and read it. No. It I, did literally see, says, I did see it in parentheses. I am. He, yeah, it was fine better. print. Yeah. All I'm saying is there can't be two tigers in one jungle. Exactly. I'll kill him. So you can be the cub and, and you know, I'll be the ENFJ. Hey. I want to be the monkey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> all right. I feel like he would be a monkey if, if anything. If we we're all animals, like he's like mischievous. Nah, you know he'd be like saying? a lemur. He'd be like yeah, a yeah, like slender. Why can't I have anything? I'd be Sun Wukong. You would be. I would be a would deity. Be? I don't want to say something mean. Now nah, Esther would be a monkey. No, monkey doesn't suit her. Um, capybara. My... Esther. Capybara would yeah, be more. Be a capybara. Esther would be a pig. That's what I was gonna say, but you're that would be the pig. Mean. Yeah, you're the pig. I mean that. You're a gorilla. You're like a boar. And I'm, well, you're right. Honestly, and I'm I'll take the, it. I'll take tigre. the pig. You're more like a salamander. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm, you shape like a salamander. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you you look, you do look like a lizard, like a rattlesnake farmer. Remember that? Like, mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. kind of looks with the hat and the hair, the mullet. I'll take oh, it. Oh, my brothers used to call me hippo. <laughs> hippo. Oh, That's just yeah, because you sleep. Yeah. Do, do hippos hey, sleep a lot? Oh, my fault, my fault. I just. Ah. Ew. Ew, don't do that. No more, no more. Doing what was the original oh, yeah, question? What the fuck was the question? Oh, change about yourself. What would you change yourself? about yourself? Oh. I would be more patient and I would be six foot three. <laughs> ah. I'd be more patient with a smaller me. <laughs> what about you? Less pretty and... I like my prettiness. Okay, so I'll keep, keep that one. Um, I wish I had the ability to connect with people like I used to. Hmm. When did that disconnect start happening? When you realized, like, I don't connect with Honestly, I thought about a lot about this. I think it was on, after I got off house arrest, it was like a month after, uh, I lost my best friend and my girlfriend in the same week. And I haven't really felt anything since then. Mm. Yeah. 
Maybe it's so like almost like a, a response to like an extremely emotionally yeah. turmoil. Because it's like time. already I'm at the lowest point of my life because of house arrest. And then it ended. And then immediately I lost like two of the most important things. So already I was in a mindset of where I just didn't care about anything. Yeah. But the two, like two of the few things I did care about, I just lost. I was like, mm. Low key was like your body and your mind protecting itself from mm-hmm. like being too hurt, being like, well, that's that's a that's a real thing. Yeah, that is. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, so in in my current state, I'm trying to figure out how to come back from that. Let's go to church, man. I got you. It's not even it, that that too could help. But I just truly believe you need just like structure in your life. Oh, that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. think that food, diet and sleep. That's like, the number one be, thing yeah. you need. Yeah, I've yeah. had structure in my life since I was like 17. I think Which you is, just need to move into Wu Talks and go through the Wu Talk uh, oh yeah, boot, camp. boot camp. Look what yeah. it did for Eddie, bro. He's rich yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you guys have take me? his course? Uh, would you guys have me? Uh, I, don't I don't know. know. Yeah, no, but why would why why not though? The three of you guys moved into a house. I just feel like he won't listen to me, and that would drive me fucking insane. If I'm like, okay, here's what it, you did. Here's what you got to do to be better, and I'm gonna just fucking let tell you exactly what you do, so you don't have to even think. You just do the things I say, and if he didn't do them, and I you would don't, lose and my you don't have patience. No, no. Yeah, no but patience. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Wait, this could be the perfect setup. No, no, you build no, patience no. and you get. I've I've already thought. And you guys I like could the kiss. Current, I like the current system we have. Close enough to where if if I wanted to, I could call and be like, "Let me come over, help me make this video." Yeah. But, right? That's the perfect system. If we live together, I think I am way too headstrong. I would not listen to him. Yeah, he wouldn't listen, and then I would I'm lose just my shit. <laughs> I'm just imagining it Wu would Talks. ruin our friendship. <laughs> Vit laying over Wu Talks lap. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I like the current Wait, system. Wait, would you guys have. live with me? No, you're a woman. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> what well, you? No, just like I think of me as just a regular person. Uh, what to like boot camp you into being better or like? No, just live with like a good roommate. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't oh. want boot camp. Maybe if the house was big enough, yeah. Dude, we had that perfect house. I Dude. think about it every day. Brando fucked it up, man. No, you fucked it up because you brought your friends and they thought we were a frat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I yeah. You brought idiot, you brought Giga Chad, this other dude, and Nick. <laughs> Giga Chad. Yeah. He calls Chris Giga Chad. Yeah. He Dude, is a Giga Chad. He's a human Giga Chad. Literally. Yeah. He's like a Chad who took like a Mario mushroom. Just love yeah. Him. Yeah. yeah. He, he's like if you, my, my other friends once, they met him and they made a joke. It's like, he's like if you went in a video game and you put in the hacks and you, <laughs> yeah. and you maxed out every stat. Is he, is he just a big guy? Huge. He's dude. huge. He's handsome. He's stylish. He's fucking, he's, he's, he's nice. One, he's funny. Yeah. yeah. He, he won at every part dude, of the There was game. nothing about him I hated. Yeah. Normally when I meet someone, I'm like, there's something about you that I don't like. Yeah. Bro, him, it was like, I like this guy. Yeah. And he, dude, he. He ate two Chipotle burritos. Motherfucker yeah. is, is a big boy, man. Yeah. He and he does shit like that all the time. He, he whenever we would go to Subway, he has he two foot longs, dude, and uh, two plates of halal. That shit is hard to do, man. He, he's spicy white too, not just he's normal spicy white. white. Is he? Does he have a girlfriend? He does yeah. have a girlfriend. Damn, yeah. Black Queen. Yeah. Damn, I have so many single friends. I was gonna be like, hey, no, no they're, they're not, they're not good away from for him. him. Yeah, I know your friends. I hate them. Yeah, hey, your friends are your friends hey, are not. Hey, good she, for him. hey, she's preparing to introduce you. To some people in Texas. I take it back. And I see them. I have a lot of friends. So just because <laughs> you've mean, met Jeremy? some of them. What? What does that mean? Yeah, what she, mean showed me, she showed no, me. No, she showed me too, though. I've uh, seen one of them. They bad? Yeah, hey, hey, wait, 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 time out. Wait, I, I better stop talking one. nice. <laughs> I called that one. You better start talking nice. So the one I saw, I called I, I think, call her. I think I know which one you you guys would go How for. How come I haven't seen them? Don't worry about it. Because you be having this attitude. Because you okay? hate my friends. Yeah, yeah your LA friends. Yeah, not your Texas friends. We didn't say that. <laughs> I have way more LA friends than the ones that you've met. Well, why, don't you, to, yeah. why don't you introduce us to those friends? Because they don't like partying. The friends you introduced me to harass me. Literally. <laughs> Oopsies. One of them kissed me on the cheek. Yeah, and I saw you smiling. No, I did not want that. <laughs> yeah, of course not. Yeah, that was that was without consent. You don't uh, want that, but how would you really want people to remember you? <laughs> Hey, we're just not a podcast with transitions, all right? We have this question prepared. We're going to ask it. That's it. How would you want people to... How would you want people to remember you? Oh, my God. I want people to remember me as a benevolent ruler. Oh, what the fuck? Who allowed them to live great lives. I want people to remember me as... A cool, a cool guy. <laughs> I want to be like that cool uncle. Yeah, just a cool, chill guy. Yeah. I want to be remembered as a patient guy with the perfect <laughs> size me. <meat. laughs> Somebody brought.
brought up, I forget who it was. It's like Jeremy loves talking about meats. Oh, I think it was Joe. <laughs> you did. Yeah, who you, was your go to? I was on the phone with Joe after he came back from New York and he's like, bro, Jeremy made a meat joke like every five minutes. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Wait, hold on. My cousin was there, right? And my and all Jeremy would talk about is the meat, 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 meat. My and my cousin was my cousin was like uh, is that all you guys talk about? And I was like, damn it. What's wrong I had an you? accomplice in this. Your like, brother. <laughs> your brother. <laughs> My yeah, brother yeah. also makes a lot of meat jokes. Yeah, it was just a meat factory. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> a meat factory is crazy. How do I want someone to remember me? That sounds like some like a woman's dream. <laughs> like a meat factory. <laughs> Uh, dude, I hate my a certain type. Hanging off the ceiling, <laughs> coming out the it sounds like my dream. I love meat. But the real kind. No <laughs> more meat. No meat. more meat. Sorry. Um, well, I think a goal in my life was to make a difference in somebody's life. And for them, you know, just an impact. Uh-huh. And just so, one person or like? I mean, as many as I can. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, even one person, it would be mm. it would be nice. I think you're doing that now. And then yeah, but then, yeah, I got to work on myself first. Do you feel like you haven't made an impact on, like, your f- family? Like, you pay for your parents' rent, things like that? I don't Is that pay not- for their rent. Uh, well, I thought you paid for, I thought you paid for. <laughs> She's like, who the no, fuck no, no, you no, think no. I am? The rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah but no, but, but, but that's not their rent. Young bitch. <laughs> that's just me. That's just me. Yo, I don't know if it's you, like, check it out, but sometimes there's, like, nothing left anymore behind those <laughs> eyes. But you're still talking, so it's, like, fun. You know no, I mean I, I I financially support them, uh-huh. uh, but not not their rent. They can big, they can, I mean, they can handle thing. that. Yeah, um, but yeah, no, just just someone random too is fine. I think you have, especially after your interview yeah. and shit. But I mean, I want to be there, like physically. Oh, you want to see it actually happening? Mm. Mm. Like I want to take I want to take someone under my wing, but then in order to do that, I need to get my life straight. Yeah, I was about to say what. <laughs> Hey, she starts doing those like performative activism TikToks. Like, yeah, are you hungry? Said- Would you like this envelope or pick my left hand or my right hand? Get this on camera. <laughs> left hand or right hand? No, I wouldn't want to put it on camera. Excuse though. me, sir. No, no, no. She, she doesn't. Yeah, yeah, Excuse yeah. me, sir. Do you do you have a dollar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so hungry. I haven't ate in days. <laughs> and she's like, Oh, actually, we're just rewarding kindness. Hey. Perfectly done up in makeup. <laughs> they're always they're always like look like a normal ass person. I'm Dude, like, I hate those. You mean bro. Jimmy Dart? Is that his name? I think that's his He's name. He's like no. a white I'd say, guy. Yeah, I'd say Jimmy Dart is a little more like. He seems so sweet jokey. Though. He's like finish the song lyric and he'll give him something. No, is but that the, pe- that's the that's I don't know. He's it, it the first that guy. one. He it was the first guy. one that really started doing like pay it forward kind of stuff. His is good, but there's people that strictly go up to homeless people and be like, I'm starving. I need a dollar. Like yeah. Mm. Or like the fucking dropping a phone in front of a homeless guy and yeah. then like yeah. coming Zika. back. It's just like, it feels oh. weird. Oh, it's I so, hate that, yeah, dude. It's so like, uh, ew. Yeah, it feels weird. It's a bad vibe from those videos for sure, Lee. Yo, bad vibes. did you guys bad see um, the, there was a, some YouTuber who did like a YouTube prank and then he got shot. You see that? It was only a matter of time. Dude, I want that to happen more. Yeah, what was the, the mall? What was yeah. the prank? I don't. I don't know. I didn't what was it? Too diamond much. testing? No, he was fake robbing oh. somebody. Oh my god! Yeah, bro. Like that's so stupid. And then another guy got arrested because he was at the, the airport. York he was yeah, at the yeah, airport. Yeah. He's like, "I'm gonna stab you." Uh-huh. And then, I hate that. And guy, then he's dude. like, "Well, this is a prank, by the bro, way." And he that, got arrested. That one, bro. The prank was hitting on someone's girlfriend in front of him. Yeah. The guy didn't even get like, like he wasn't disrespectful. He just got his girlfriend and they left. Yeah. Talking shit as one would, and he's like, he pulls out a knife. He's like, I'd st- I'd tear your face open right no, here. No, no, no. The it prankster no, no, said no. that to yeah. him. That wasn't the prank. The prank was he was, he was put he was pressing the dude's girl. He was like, Yo, isn't that my bag? I could have swore I had that oh, bag. Yeah. And then the guy was like, No, that's no, not your bag. Like the guy with the girl. And then he was like, He got close. As soon as he got close, he's t- he hit the the boyfriend took a step up. He's like, That's not your bag, bro. Relax. And they like kind of just like stiffed on him. And then that's when the other dude who recently got arrested was basically like, yo, relax. And then they're obviously talking shit because like you're, you're pressing his girl. And after that, he pulls out a knife. He's like, I'll cut you, bro. I'll but cut the you. prankster pulled out the knife or the no. guy or the yeah. girl so boyfriend? Like the, the, the main YouTuber out and then the prankster. That motherfucker needs his ass beat, bro. No, so, so, so funny thing really about that, right? He beat. went he went to another uh, like he, he did it a couple of times. One of the so it's two guys. One of them got their ass beat by uh, like some some white middle aged dude who was not taking that shit. 
the second time around, they messed with this Korean guy at a, at a, uh, at a supermarket. And the, the Korean guy was like oh, joking yeah, around yeah. with them. And then they took his hat and he got tight. So then he grabbed the hat back and then like smacked his head. And then they started trying to like basically press him. And he was about it. He was just like, what the f- like, So what's up? Like, you know? And then immediately right afterwards, um, as soon as the guy turned around, was like, all right, I'm done with them. They're, they're, they're like just being stupid. They they kicked him as he was walking away. Whoa. And, and then they ran, ran like pussies, bro. And that's when that dude immediately started chasing after them. And I think they got arrested by doing it again somewhere else. Dude, this is so stupid. It's not even a worst, prank anymore. The downsides of the internet and, and trying to become famous. Like, if you wa- low key, if you watch those videos and you engage, you're like part of the problem, low key. Mm-hmm. Like, Wait, you're so not they're part just, of the problem. You're just stupid. They yeah. uploaded the video themselves too, or? Yeah. Yeah. And they just kept doing it. They're corny. I hate yeah. people like that. They're that's so disgusting. corny. I fucking hate that shit, bro. If the whole world was listening to you right now, what would you say? My name is Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jeff. Hey, I'm not going to lie. When I'm on Xbox, I say that almost every day. <laughs> My name is Jeff? Yeah. Why? why? I don't know why. He's this not bad. Words, words of my mother's life. This is like I say it every day, and I, I say it so much. Brando's face when he swore on his mother's life, dude. I say it so much. We believe you, man. You well, don't he also swear. did this, so I was like, what? I don't know. It's just force of habit. <laughs> that's, that means something else. But going. Well, yeah, it means God, but my mother is my goddess. Okay. What's I say? Oh, my name is Jeff. I say it, bro. I say it so much, and I don't know why. Sometimes I'll catch myself. And I'm like, am I autistic? Because I'll be sitting there playing Xbox with my friends, and for literally 10 minutes straight, I'll just be like, my name's Jeff. My You're name's Jeff. Gen Z. Yeah, it's yeah. Gen Z shit. Uh, You're just it's, not, it's not autism. It's just the Gen Z habit. My, my little cousins to this day still do that to me. Uh, they just uh, cut my ass, and then they just pick up a line from TikTok. Yeah, and then they drop a fucking Fortnite bar on you. <laughs> yeah, and then they do the dance on me. I'm like, what the hell just happened? I think, yep, that's, I think that's so funny. I love that shit. annoying. Yeah, it, 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 I despise it. it. It makes me so angry. These kids keep me young. <laughs> my name's Jeff. <laughs> it's the TikTok Tourette's thing. The fucking, uh, when you just randomly walk around dropping bars from TikTok. I do it all the time, too. Yeah, that's kind of all the time. Yeah, all so, the yeah, time. what is your answers? What, what, was, are the, your, what was the question? If the world could oh, hear you. I would be like, I'm God and I'm real. Who came up with this question? Sorry. <laughs> that was that was Esther's question. No, it could have been nice if we were more serious, but today we're in a goofy ass mood. You well, the one that said my name is Jeff. <laughs> that was your Because I was hey, in a goofy ass about? mood. Yeah, you try to blame us. You you creating the mood. Since this is like a self growth episode, uh-huh. I would say mine would be discipline is freedom, and great things take time. Oh. They're like, who be the patient. fuck is that? Yeah, I'd be like, shut up, voice in my head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm, if you were able to. Say out, send a message into everyone's brain. I would dead ass be like, "Hey, I'm God and I'm real," and oh, then that, everyone oh, would oh, freak out and oh, be like, "Oh no!" <laughs> oh, you mean like, oh. like if it's like going into? I thought you were saying like out to the camera. Oh right no, now. no, no, no! I, I thought the I question have, was like you can drop like a like a line into their head. I have one. Oh. I have one. Okay. When when we clip this, put the put the bleach villain theme behind this. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Fuck, oh, I forgot it. Um, you can try. Yeah, try. You just forgot it immediately. Burn the ships. Failure is not an option. You either succeed or you die trying. Boom. Was you that a 50 that cent bar? <laughs> <laughs> what? Was that a 50 cent bar? Yeah, we'll no? put 50 cents. Get rich or die trying. <laughs> I just came up with it. Oh. Burn the ships is a saying. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a culmination of quotes. Could you say it one more time? I didn't. My brain <laughs> didn't process. <laughs> Burn the ship? Bur- burning ship? <laughs> Burn shit? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Stinky. Why are you burning shit? No, I want to... Oh. A reverse P6 show would be funny. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, we talked, didn't I say last week that shit was going to happen? You were like, oh, I'm a pro. No, you're not. I wasn't paying attention, that's why. All right, well, do you guys have one? Since you just I shit on just mine. I would just tell everyone, everyone to Venmo shit on me mine too. one dollar. <laughs> what? Everyone in the world Venmo me one dollar. I was just oh. gonna say something like that, but instead of one dollar, thousand dollars. No, one dollar no somebody could yes, do that. Everyone's gonna do that's that. That's eight billion dollars. Yeah. I need more than that. I try to make a Venmo difference in, like in everyone's other life. Countries too. It's like PayPal. Like okay, three hundred fifty-six million dollars because of the US. Lot, yeah. I think everyone's Venmoing you a dollar. 
Okay. Hey, let's test I'll it out get right at now. Least 20, Venmo 000. us a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If every one of you Venmo us one dollar, we're, we're averaging like 60,000 views on an episode. We oh, have that'd be crazy. Instead of Venmoing us, how about you subscribe like, to comment, and subscribe. our- Okay, subscribe to our fan house. There's that, are our statistics shows that 40% of the people, it's like more, it's like more than 50% of people aren't subscribed to us that watch the show. Oh, really? How yeah. dare you? It's like, wow. it's pretty high. It's like 30%. Our subscribers, 30, 40, and then the rest is... Oh, yeah, that's pretty normal on YouTube. So yeah. if you're a non-subscriber and you hit that subscribe button, we could jump to 200,000 followers. We have been lacking on that. Yeah. Telling people to subscribe. Yeah. Please yeah. subscribe. We have been lacking. Yeah. Please subscribe. All right, well, I mean, we're basically at the end. Yeah, I think we should wrap it. Oh, how well, how about last one? What's one thing on your bucket list? Get married. <laughs> Really? One thing on my bucket list. Your bucket oh. list? It's my only bucket list item. It's my only item, period. Are we, should we talk about short term or like long term? Uh, let's say in the next five years. Oh, actually, a real one is to leave the country at some point. You're, You're stuck. stuck here forever. We got to smuggle him out. Said that. I should have said it. We would have said it in unison. That would have been creepy. Yeah. We're so perfect. Ew. Ew. Don't touch him again, all right? We'll separate you guys. Yes. He said hi. Um, skydiving. Good one. <laughs> hey, Whoa. That's so funny. It's like, remember he couldn't think about his future plans? His bucket list is just like, yours is like, leave the country, get married. His is like skydiving. Wait, right, right before we I started filming, I saw this video on Twitter of a whole plane skydiving. And the, the plane ran into another plane in the sky. So it's literally like to save your life, you have to skydive. You know, like... But everyone was prepared to skydive, though. One person was going to start skydiving. You know, you have to go in order. Yeah, one at a time, but, but everyone has to jump out the plane or else you all die because oh, it fuck. clipped the wing. Is it scripted or it's a video? This is a real video so on Twitter. everyone's just jumping out the plane? It like, it like, yeah, you have to jump or else you're going to spiral to your death. Oh Whoa. It's a crazy way to skydive. Is like you actually, you're saving your life by skydiving. Yeah, especially if you're like, <laughs> wait, wait. That's what I'm asking. Was it planned? Like no. that's the experience? No, 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 no. They or crashed. That's the experience. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to cl- crash two planes together. <laughs> That'd be kind of hard. I, dude. I, I bet there's some like adrenaline junkie you know that's saying? like, yeah. <laughs> we should all skydive. I would be down. I, I've, I've gone content. before. It's very fun. I've never gone. I want to very badly. Life changing. Really? Wait, life changing? Yeah. Life changing. What about bungee jumping? Isn't that would, scarier? Don't would you think that's scarier? Too. I don't, here's the Let thing me about, tell you something. Let me tell you something. No one got the reference? Oh, I know, that's I know the that, guy yeah, that was bungee yeah, jumping. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing I don't like about bungee jumping is... I just don't want to feel that little stomach thing. You yeah. feel that for a long time when you... Dude, that's sky the diving. But it's different, it's I feel like. It's scarier than skydiving. Skydiving is, bro, it, That that's the weirdest part of it is like that you've never felt that feeling for that long <laughs> because you're straight falling, bro. It felt like my nuts were in my throat the whole time. I was about to say, how yeah. small did it get? <laughs> uh, it can't get any smaller than it already Yeah, is, but doesn't, so. it, <laughs> doesn't it stretch out in the air because you're flying? My, my spleen? Yeah. Is it, um, oh, yeah, you could use yours as a parachute. Why would I do that? Because you're an anteater. Ew. Ah! <laughs> you like stretch it, collecting <laughs> wind. <laughs> it's like slowing down. The- it's like a bubble that I'm like floating on, like Kirby or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's an umbrella. <laughs> you're gently, it's not even oh, fast. I, I flip it inside out, I'm like holding it. <laughs> <laughs> Just you're not laughing because you're a woman. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> She's grossed out. Get a dick, bro. <laughs> you don't even have a penis. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Uh, boring answer. Just buy my parents a house. Oh, yeah. That too. But That's not I, a bucket list item. Bro. All right, all right. Yeah. Fine. Okay, I didn't want to be boring. I mean, it is a bucket list, but get, then get something exciting. A, a something exciting. Well, yeah. Something yeah, a little we'll bit smaller. Than that. Yeah. That's like a goal. You know what I mean? Bucket list is like, this is a thing I want to do before I die. Guys... For Coachella, I want, in a dream world, I would love to fly over the crowd in a helicopter. That'd be so hard. What? And like, they know you're in the helicopter? Or you're, oh, there, everyone's like, everyone on the it's mic. Good, on, yeah, and every mic good. on the stage is like, all right, everybody, we're stopping the music. Pay attention to this guy. <laughs> That's Vit Trap. 1.4 million followers on TikTok. 1.3. 1. 1. 1. 1. 3. No, 1.3. 1. 1. 1.3. They can't even see what him. What are you hating? No, I'm not hating. I thought I was like, congrats. Like, you pocket watching. I thought you made it. I didn't want it. You're 1.9, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Who's growing faster? Uh, I don't know. Him. I, I, haven't, I haven't grown in a while, though. I mean, really? I'm very close to 2 mil. I'm like 20K, 30K Let's away. Let's go. 
if all of you go on TikTok and give him a follow, follow he can break chemistry. I care more about Instagram than TikTok. Whopping when you it there. comes to growth, whopping you there too. No, nah, man. Tick- <laughs> People are TikTok nicer on Instagram. Is, TikTok is superior to Instagram. Not if it goes away. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't think it will. I hope fucking I don't not. Think it will. I mean, like, who? What's the like the ruling? Who makes the final decision? It's like a vote. I don't Obama. Know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, can we wrap it up? I got. Yeah, pee. that's the wrap. That's the end. Of that's the, the end of the show. Like, subscribe, comment, check out our fan house. See you in Texas. No, subscribe to the fan house. Don't just check it out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah please, please. And also buy the new flavor Pog in Bevmo. And uh, if you're in Texas, make sure you come see us. I gotta wash my hands, bro. Like, it's yeah, my hands are like out. sticky too. So. Funny. <laughs> Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Neck Your Hard Seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you.